I'm Brendan. I'm playing Sterling Reynolds, the Human Commander. My name is Amber Rose, and I'm playing Beatrice Alley Matilda Francesca Solomon Smith. Uh, she is a wood elf occultist. Hello, my name is Jeffrey Hodge. I play Robinel Rockapace, a wood elf bard. I'm Daniel, and I run the wood elf monk named San Gomez Maxillian, the friendly neighborhood medicine man gypsy. Hi, I'm Vivian, and I play Mavery Ann Shergo, the go get em rogue. I'm Cory, I play Eduardo Del Monte, the wood elf ranger. I am Trevor, I am the GM for this 13 page campaign. When last we met, you guys had uh, sailed the four weeks out to Canerac Island, and you had sent a small strike team consisting of Daniel, Vivian, and Corey, as well as Shank and Kopesh. Yep, the goblin. Uh, <laughs> the goblin they live! The Yeah, the, the, you, you opted not to really use them for anything. <laughs> they just sort of rode your asses out there and then back. <laughs> You, you basically just had to do all the rowing. <laughs> they're, they're interns. Congratulations. Do we really? Get this shit job. <laughs> yep. The best part is they got trip free, so they're skilled like rerolls, so they could have actually done other stuff. But yes. Anyway, when you go out to the island, you snuck over to where the warehouse was. You managed to pick the lock on the door and creep in there and rot out the support pillar and collapse a corner of the warehouse now. Uh, however, on the way out, you had gotten... We're just about to make a clean getaway and then realized you'd forgotten to re-padlock the door behind you. Yeah, that actually was my fault. I even said it. Yeah. I said, and I even promised. don't forget to lock the pad the, the door again. I, I re-say that I think the fact that we got one person off the island worked to our advantage because we could blame the sabotage on him. We'll see. It's Except course, now we can't. It, of course, depends on who that guy was, too. Wait, you know, what do you mean now we can't? Because <laughs> of reasons! <laughs> we will probably find out For soon. the benefit of the recording, I am pointing squarely at Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, did what he write come into light? Not I did yet. not mean that to You're rhyme. You're not sure. <laughs> I did not mean that to rhyme, but yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh, well, you guys There's were There's a reason we sh all shouted no in our mind okay. space. Well, you were collapsing a warehouse. Corey snuck off for a while and then uh, went quiet over your telepathy for a few minutes and uh, he then came back and as far as you know he was planning to do something about throwing a note to the slaves quarters. You all told him not to though so yeah. maybe he listened to you. Yeah. <laughs> he must have assumed that he was keeping well, watch. Well as soon as he comes back we're all gonna, you know, murder have him. a nice group meeting and circle around him with, with boards with nails with them. And say, yeah. All right. <laughs> we what have did no you do? <laughs> no, we're, gonna have a, we're gonna have a morning scrum, you know? And what oh, that means is we beat them. his face in. <laughs> no! Right? Anyway. Oh, this, uh, no, as you guys it's were. an interrogation. We don't know for sure that he actually did it I, yet. I think right now, like, as we would have stopped him if we'd known anything at the time. So I think we assumed that he was, like, keeping watch or something. So I don't think right now we know for no, sure. No, we know nothing. Whoa, guys. Yeah. You guilty? Do you know he was planning to do it. Okay. Which we assumed he was like, going you to do know the part. Him not to. You, could just make you know what you he could said just at ask, the table. Like, okay. After that, so he stopped talking to you. Okay. So you don't know what he did after that. <laughs> okay. So, what were you planning? Wait, are, everyone's back on the ship, right? Hold on. Ah, uh, yes. Let's okay. just speed through the last bit of this summary. Yeah, let's go through the summary. Uh, when you guys were leaving, you had to come back to relock the door. A large half orc guy spotted you, shouted, Hey, who goes there? Identify yourself. And then uh, he got mercilessly beaten. You managed to uh, punch him in the throat and stop him from screaming too much. <laughs> uh, after he died, you uh, carried him with you, as well as taking back the arrows and scuffing dirt over all the blood. And also the blood-stained board. Yeah, you took the blood bloody board with you as well. <laughs> Uh, you managed to get him back to where you had your rowboat and row off with him, back to where you had docked your ship about a day's row away, and then left him uh, on the island covered in some foliage. <laughs> yeah, that'll take him a good two, three seconds for the wolves to get him. <laughs> the, the wolves aren't what's going to get him, it's the bugs, man. <laughs> the bugs are what gets you. Anyway, so you guys are now on your ship. You guys have had a full heal up. Because you rode a day there and then a day back. Oh, okay. So I In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have allowed one. I should have just had it be a short rest. But I already said last session it was one, and Daniel, I think, already erased his character sheets, so... <laughs> I can't really ask you to go back on it now. 
It would be unfair to only give one to him. They they slept on the boat while uh, the (laughs) Chauvets were (laughs) rowing. Yes. Yeah. Took turns. One other thing um, I should mention for uh, crew, when you're doing a mission like this for Skeldrigger rolls, when they roll and they actually get like a set of some number, right? Like say they get three sixes. As long as they got at least two of something, they can succeed at tasks you set them to do while they're on a little job. You basically, once you roll a set, you spend dice one for one to make them do something. So any base success requires at least two, so you can always get them, if you've succeeded at all, to get them to do two things while they're on the island, successfully. Okay. The number on the die is how well they do that. <laughs> okay. So for example, in last mission you had three fours, so you could have told them to like go make a distraction somewhere else. They would have gone off and done that, with a success of four out of ten at how well they did that. And that would burn that one die, and we'd have two yeah. left. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Well, you, you burned one, which was getting to the island and getting the boat hidden without anyone finding it. Does that work for some of the other skills? Uh, yeah. Uh, it also works for carousing. Carousing is used um, for getting favorable deals when you're buying stuff in port. Okay. Uh, the way it works is they roll carousing. For every die in a set, you can spend it to pick a stat and get a discount on that equal to, I think it's... All of our points in carousing. Yeah, it's carousing is OP not a true. useless stat by any stretch of the imagination. I realize we just positioned the people who tend to do most of the ship management stuff across the table from each other. Yeah. Yeah. That actually That'll be can. fun. You guys want to sit closer? That's fine. Switch. Hopefully there's not too much ship management today. If there is, I'll swap with Corey or something. I am yeah. going to need that uh, sure. sheet by the time of our next battle. Sure. Sure. We will know why. Say you rolled three fours. You can spend a die on, say, food, water. You can spend more than one die on a thing. Each die you spend on it reduces the cost of that thing by one, to a minimum of one. So for basic stats, you can only ever spend one because they only cost two anyway. For skills, you can spend more than one. You can buy a number of ranks in that thing equal to whatever the height of the dice is before the discount comes off, basically. Anyway, so for example, if you did Skullduggery and you had, like, I mentioned, like, you had, like, three fours, you could have said, hey, Shank, go fetch, go kill that guy. And they would do that with a success of four out of ten. Which means they would probably, they'd certainly kill the guy. They succeeded doing that. But they might make noise while they're doing it. Set things on fire. Or set something on fire as a means of doing Well, if it was, like, a set of ones, that would be, hey, did you kill the guy in that guard tower? Sure, they set the guard tower on fire. One day we're going to roll three tens, and we're just going to... Yeah, if you get like if you get like three tens on a skull dagger roll instead of to kill somebody, that guy's dead and even you don't know they did it. <laughs> no, it's like we just think it and they knew and they did it. <laughs> the crew becomes Solid Snake. Yeah. We Dude, hated the I've played Metal Gear Solid. Solid Snake is not stealthy by any stretch of the imagination. It becomes uh, not, sure not what I play him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are on your ship. What would you like to do? I wake up. For being drunk. We should have a. Oh, sorry. We are making our way to port. You made your call. Well, I think so our first thing uh, we were going to do is the interrogation room, correct? Well, I, no, no, I no, sit down for morning tea. Yeah. I was going to say, we should have a meeting in the captain's quarter to discuss our game plan for coming yeah. to this island. I sit down for morning tea. Interrogation, captain's meeting. What's the difference? Hey, where's my goblin whose job is to serve me only? He's probably got your tea. Come here. Yeah, thank you. Delicious. Good job, buddy. I get myself a cup. You have my commendations. After you start drinking your tea, he has a fan. No, oh, it's quite nice. You, you didn't actually ask him to do that. No. You're not sure where he found that. I like it anyways. He found it on the beach. It's all good. He probably is just using like a palm front. Yeah. Great. I see Beatrice like coming into your, well, it was like a clipboard. I bet she probably always got a clipboard. <laughs> she invented the clipboard. Right. <laughs> Through meeting. Like, and she like looks down, sees him, she's like, I certainly hope he's on a ship's payroll. <laughs> I mean... Or yeah. actually, and she phrases it not just, like a question. You just look at your clipboard where it's payroll, just look where it says Eduardo, and you're lying through it. <laughs> there. Everything fixed. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's, uh, he's, he's doing this out of love, you know? It was fine. He doesn't, he doesn't need to get paid. He gets paid in food. <laughs> he's giving his play. He's giving his play. No, he's doing that a lot. I'm not forcing him to do these things. Across the ship. He's a slave to love. People can hear the echoes of flamenco guitar going in and then out. And then a couple seconds later, it's back in. And then it goes back out. Don't stop. What is that? Eduardo. 
yeah. <laughs> is in the, most of the time anyway. <laughs> is in the bathroom. He started doing this prank when he first met Eduardo. Looking, Eduardo doesn't realize he's doing it. <laughs> looking in the mirror, practicing saying his name. Shower. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are having some sort of crew meeting. Yep. All right. Yeah. So, what did you do? <laughs> That got to the point quickly. Thank you. Chan, like a previous character there. (laughs) (laughs) Is it like you're in a chair we're all standing around you? Is he in a chair in a room with only a single overhead light? (laughs) And you're all just swinging around. It's a pair of balls. It's swinging, but it's actually swinging because my goblin friend is up there going like this. (laughs) I did what we planned to do from the start. Actually, I have a rather really? detailed yeah, record really, here of uh, our plans going in. Yeah, because the plan no was to, you know, sabotage and leave no trace. No, no, so no trace. Sabotage, right? Which yeah, I did. Yes. And then inspire the slaves so that way they don't... What? Uh, no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, actually, whoa, whoa. Actually, no. actually right not at all. here on the list of things not to do while we're on the island. One of them is get caught. The other one is talk to anyone. <laughs> I didn't yeah. talk to anyone. Well, I yeah, let you know. No, 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 okay, no, 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 no. Notes, recording, communicate. Did you no, leave? Okay, wait, but just one second, one second. We the, should have talked The point of this mission, the one that you guys went on, was to sabotage and leave no trace. So when we showed up, we'd be welcomed because we have a lot of stuff they want. And then I would inspire the rebels. Then. What okay, did you so get? Maybe them? I got the steps of the maybe, well, stuff. Maybe. What? Maybe. Look, oh, look, yeah. Look, we can, we can all punish Eduardo in a second. What I want to know is what did you do? I would also like what to know. What does the note say? Give me my tea. <laughs> Just for fun, I'm going to roll a memory check. <laughs> okay. This is. But you do I'm this solely to let you know the secret. You want to remember something very important. I'm going to be very clear. No matter what it is, he's telling the truth. Just his version of the truth. Please don't crit fail. Please don't crit fail. 18. Oh, thank God. Okay. I get an exact rendition of the note. All right. His note is mostly just uh, words of inspiration for the slaves to uh, welcome the coming of the ship, the Duchess. It mentions your ship by name, <coughs> and that it will be arriving tomorrow, <laughs> specifically. Oh my god! <laughs> Eduardo, hey, hey. I so understand you know why. That the so, on that note, hey, wait, 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 just gonna wait, shoot you wait, 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 wait. So now we have a new share for the treasure, right? <laughs> yeah. That share just opened up. <laughs> I just want to clarify that. I hope you are aware that any damages sustained by the ship or the crew will be coming out of your pay. I mean, no, I mean, wait, what pay? He's not getting, like, he's, like, there's no more shares, right? I'm not getting paid? <laughs> no, you think uh, you deserve gonna, to get paid? We're gonna drop you off on the nearest desert island and leave you No, to... we're leaving him on the goddamn island with a dead body. You're actually yeah. not gonna deserve that. Right yeah. <laughs> Wanna make him walk the plank? I would love to do that. You'd have no, to have no, a plank no, first. No, You'd no. have to use some of the lumbering. No, no, no. We got, the, we got the bloody board. Wait, why don't we first, just hang out on this... the island for a few days then? First, no, no, we're gonna let's see how hang this out plays on... out. First we, thing we're gonna do is change the goddamn going... name. Yes. Yes. First we're thing we're gonna do is change the goddamn name. And, and arrive on a different day. And repaint our entire ship. This sounds like a good plan. But we can't explain to the crew why we did that. Can we? Can I kill him? Uh, no check required. Uh, there's a traditional phrase used in the navies of the world, which is, if it moves, salute it. If it doesn't move, paint it. If you ever want to know what you should be doing on a ship. <laughs> uh, ships are constantly repainting themselves. Because yes, but the weather being... and the seawater just destroy We probably yeah, have a bucket renewed. or two of paint. Yeah, you got paint. Paint and pitch. Yeah, both of those. Well, well, let's go full okay, well, thing. We do have another option, which is that we have been hired to this job. We can't always say that we have had a vague plan of blaming the sabotage on the guy that you killed. We could always say that try and play it off that we've been set up. How would they know? Well, we're doing this little job for somebody else. We could claim they had some kind of communication with the person so who hired us. Or, or you know what we do? They do find the, the note letter. and they do pin it on us. What so was we blame it, it on? That asshole? What was he paper tied to a rock? Yeah. Okay. So and I also wrote PS in this note. <laughs> <laughs> Did it's he good fiber. Do that? 
Uh, I don't remember. He might have. No, I, I, I just yeah. it's, it's, it's good fiber. So it's not like it's carved into a rock. There is a chance that the slaves would probably destroy this message. Especially if they or knew nobody the finds it. Yes. That we get 100% ratted out. No, because, you know, no, okay, first of all. Also, no rule required. Many slaves are illiterate. Great. <laughs> Okay, okay, you right. knew this going in, didn't you? Yeah. You allowed this, <laughs> knowing this. No, no, here's, yeah. no, here's, here's okay, what could have happened. Wait, 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 wait. Guess. Some of the slaves are probably gods from... No, here's the thing. Depends who finds it. Here's the thing. Even if they found the note, shit got stirred up last night. You think they didn't do a search? You think that didn't happen immediately? Like, what do you guys expect? I'm really liking this rock the tank idea. Not going to lie. <laughs> Well, right now we keep him alive. I'm okay. a fall guy. Yes. Okay. No, I, I, I that think mostly is for literate. Uh, one other thing you do know, Cane Rack does get ships showing up to it pretty much every day. So it's not like you be, you're the only ship who would show up. Okay. I think five people at this table are getting a serious sense of deja vu coming from Corey. Just yeah, saying. No, but you know what? I admittedly, guess. admittedly, though, <laughs> as much chaos as this caused, I've been Wait thinking about this game. You guys. Are you not counting her? I, I well, she hasn't. Oh, I see. Yes. I, say, she I was about to say. Wait a minute. Caused. Are you not including me? Because I'm definitely. No, no, you're, <laughs> you're, you're definitely included. included. You're definitely included. As I'm much, excluded. But the thing is, as much chaos as this caused, I have been nonstop thinking about this game all week, looking forward to this meeting because of that. So as much as this is chaos and crazy, at least it's you know fun. All right. Let's repaint the ship. So to be clear, yeah. Uh, vote for a new name. You. I'm thinking of the Shining Star. The Duché. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, it was like, all you have to do is like take out the T, right, and add an accent to the E. I think we need a name that would be appealing to the slavers. Yeah, the so Duché. So we seem like a slave well, ship. Well, I'm thinking of the Shining Star for a very particular reason. The slavers. It's because I want to use it in a song. The Shining Star. <laughs> Black Pearl. Now, you'll work it into a song, whatever the name is. That's your job. On boat? They ride a blazing saddle. They sail a shining star. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then we call it Mustang. And, uh, call it something that ends with Orin. <laughs> Door hinge. <laughs> Beatrice is making notes. She has one whole piece of paper that's solely devoted to just listing things that we've had to do What's because name of again? chaos Eduardo? caused by Eduardo. Hey. So, Name's Eduardo, right? So we're trying no, to we hate you Eduardo. Know, there's, there's, there's a term for that. It's a list of grievances. Can, the we, name it? Can we name it that we hate Eduardo? No, no, no. Beatrice isn't that um, vicious. She's just the trying to take it out of his pay. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I like that. Crack I that really with, like that. Crack that sweet whip. lash. Yeah. <laughs> Ten lashings. Okay, sure. And we'll just modify the number. It's fun because it references slave whipping, yeah. sugar, and it's a pun on sweet lash. Yeah, let's do it. I'm good with that. Okay, sure. <laughs> isn't it incredibly bad luck to rename a ship? Uh, everything's bad luck. <laughs> in sailing, and yeah. And also the thing that we now have to explain to the crew that why we changed the name, and also not to mention on the island that we were previously called the Duchess. It I'm came to him in a dream. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure getting infected by magical crystals that now give us thought speak is also bad luck. <laughs> or me having a cloak well, that makes me want to eat people. So, <laughs> so, my explanation is... Marbles on the stairs, also bad luck. Lego on the floor, bad luck. <laughs> yeah. Carpet. <laughs> My explanation would be, when I got drunk last night, I had an epiphany. The Duchess sucks as a name. It is awesome. <laughs> now all you gotta do is wake up, pretend you're still slightly drunk, and yeah. then just make the order. <laughs> yeah. And then later, after yeah. they've done it, come and go, why the hell does the name change? Because yep. like, you told us, you, did I? Oh, well, that okay. is great. Because <laughs> you slurred the last part. You meant to say sweet lass. Yeah. And you just leave sweet lass. Oh. Oh. Give me a give me a charisma check. Try and bluff the crew on that one. Okie dokie. As a con man, I've done this before. Oh yeah. Because we should also make a skullduggery roll to make that sure they don't right tell people that we 13, were once the Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. They buy that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Whatever he was this was always do that. It was awesome. And it's always <laughs> been our name. Yeah, and, and actually, uh, Beatrice, yeah, we'll go around just making sure that everyone's aware that because of the legality issues regarding changing the name of a ship, and so that it'd be better off if we didn't let people know that we've done this. 
just to save us all a lot of paperwork and fines. Because if the, we get fined, it's going to come out of everybody's pay, so... <coughs> everybody's <coughs> more like Eduardo! Whatever ability uh, you think works. Uh, is probably most appropriate, because she could probably cough. find some actual ability, laws to reference. I mean, like, Prisma, Wisdom, oh, yeah. Skeletons, whichever one. Probably Prisma in this case. Sure. God damn it. Which is the lower of the two of this. Okay. <laughs> that was a close one. That's your uh, that's your box that you're rolling and being your friend there. As it goes yeah. to a two, bounces off the side and goes to an eighteen. Hey, I didn't expect all the work I put into. Uh, so twenty five, actually twenty six, twenty six. Right. You were gonna angle for the superstition angle. Yes. People aren't gonna want to trade with us if they know. Sure. Yeah. For example. It's ancient medical folklore wives tales. I'm not giving you that one. <laughs> okay. That is horseshit. <laughs> it's an old gypsy tale. It's a better bit tale. Sadly, that's not in my background. Your backgrounds are, um, trust me, the doctor. I've repaired my share of wagons, I can fix this. And you call that balance. This is balance. Uh, yeah. uh, so give me a flat roll. That's my wife. This. All that Just notoriety I spent yeah. doing at the town. The archery contest. And it's I argue this name well, was awesome in mean, a song. <laughs> you, you named us Charisma plus in an operation uh, that shouldn't have happened. Song, it's a blacklist right. operation. <laughs> blacklist. Guys. Oh, the sweet lash shits. Shits? <laughs> How are we supposed to get cheers and admiration of the I'm sorry. that we don't know who we are? When we go there and then talk to them about it. The act of freeing them will show them that we are legit. God, it's the name of the ship. This sweet lash, it's just the steal all the slavers' weapons, and then like, here slaves, <laughs> run away. Blast, a blast. Blast. You, can, you don't have to Mass. use it at the end. Blast, it's... Got an awesome mass. It's uh, uh, you have to, to make sure you don't kill someone. Yeah. Ah. I will allow you to add what? two, but not your background. <laughs> All right. It's a saving throw. Partial credit. Saving throw. Right. It's a base saving throw. Yeah. All oh, right. Uh, oh, 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 eight oh, plus okay. seven. Right. I believe that's fifteen. Right. Yes. Unless All right. You got, like special yeah. training <laughs> for saves. Any of the rest of you, Corey and Vivian, you can also contribute if you wish. Okay. You don't have to. It'll be like. The name changed? I had no idea what the name was before. <laughs> you can give me a hard bluff check if you try to convince the crew that it was never called. Oh my god! Just... <laughs> Please trade on this. <laughs> Just if, some you, if you succeed at the Neverwinter Nights 2 torch check, <laughs> oh god! The best bluff check ever in a game. <laughs> Running through the yards of a burning watch house, a watch that stops you holding a torch. Hey, what are you doing with that torch? What torch? <laughs> <laughs> It is the best roll. <laughs> I think it requires you have like a plus 30 or something ludicrous. Oh my god. At which point he just tells you he needs to go lie down for a while. <laughs> so shit, I guess I... I... Roll! <laughs> just add your base charisma. Just charisma? And level. Just charisma. And any background you think is relevant. Uh, you have a merchant, a mer uh, merchant heritage, right? So that's gonna be haggling and... I would apply lying to uh, being a merchant. Or thief. <laughs> Lying. I say this as a merchant. <laughs> <laughs> what about a thief? Oh man. No, okay. thieving is more okay. outright. And, yeah, yeah. you're a go get him rogue. 19 a... plus 6, 25. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's a ridiculously hard DC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming the DC was 25. Yeah, ridiculously hard is 25. No. Yeah. <laughs> Corey, anything you can do? Lucky. Uh, I think he's contributed enough. I'll contribute by keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that is probably I, I, for the that, best. That, 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 like, that is like that is a pretty good. This is giving it to peer pressure. Just don't say, be me. I will say this: if you don't keep your mouth shut, you would get a luck point. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, the physical pain this looks like it's causing you. I mean, I wouldn't get mad at you either way. Just because the only thing I'm mad about is the naming of our ship. Okay, we can change the name back later. No, I don't Question care about the. I don't. I don't is... care about the name. I'm ca I care about the whole purpose of a blacklist operation. Is nobody's supposed I... to know about it? Question is what Nobody. I can say. I don't think blacklist is... operation. But the thing is, he's unlikely. It hasn't been invented yet. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know why the word list is in there. My bad. But, a blacklist. Yeah. You disobeyed the direct orders. I'm, th I'm thinking of uh, a game. I got it. Uh, the, the Splinter Cell game I was playing. Oh yeah. yeah. 
I'll say an inspirational speech. <sighs> In inspirational speech. But finally, the captain's not there to attend. This speech. What does this speech consist of? This speech consists of, upon their approval of my. You now have to run everything by. Approval. There is complete apathy on the captain's part. <laughs> Let me just say this. The captain has actually had a special plate engraved to put on his desk, which says "fucks given," and there's a little counter. <laughs> yep. Except it says zero, and you can't actually move the number. I make an apathy it's check. Like engraved. And using. I make an apathy check. It all results to perfect. So basically, the type of mood that I'm thinking about going with the speech is the one that was done in Highlander. <laughs> it has been so you, long. You realize we're not movie. storming the beach, right? This yeah. is not Normandy. Yeah, you, you come out a little, little, we don't catch. Like we're coming in like proper traders. It'll be like this is Wait, our what, first job. Don't what speech blow from it. Highlander. What if you, uh, what if you just like started making you jokes with the crew heart. about? Yes. <laughs> wow. I wow. I, I can't believe I understood that. <laughs> yes. Those are those, two. I know, because you said that, and I was just like, wait, why, why does yeah. he agree no, with no, this? No, I've yeah. seen Highlander. No, yeah, no, right. I've seen it several times. I don't recall any screen. Why did you movie. do that? <laughs> what if instead of making a speech, you just like, made Connery jokes with the crew criticism? about the new name? Exactly like, there was like, this long like, walk in my head. It was like, that's making jokes. Is not yeah, something that I get back Do you mean, yeah. Highlander's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. not Mel Gibson. It's, it, it's, it's not Mel Gibson. Getting yeah, renowned for being funny? That's that's a thing. People like people who are funny. Yeah. This is true. Or you can confess to the crew, and you'll get a lot of notoriety for that. Just saying. Not positive notoriety, though, which I think yeah. is what he's going for. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, your glory, worse, right. Positive <laughs> Specifically. Then you can brag about what you... No, 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 no you don't want to do that. Just... I would have if you didn't, you know, scold me. We're right now at the 6.30 point and we haven't even left port, so... On, on the upside, I'm not working today, so oh. I can't run late. Alrighty. Good. Ooh, hey. Something hey. glory. There's probably something really obvious that I'm not thinking of. And Trevor's he just said, keeping his mouth shut. He said, Why you do this to me? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. What do we got here? <laughs> oh god. Absolutely nothing. Oh this is World god. of Darkness oh. all over again. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. If we can One, get... two, three, five. Okay. Eight, nine, zero. Okay, question, 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 question. If we can get Cory to do that roll, can we roll one more die? Possibly. Alright, Cory, it's all on you. <laughs> you could save this. I hate you to say this, but I believe today. in you. We okay. believe in you, Cory. Braveheart speech. This is technically outside of characterization, but if you pull this off, I'm giving you a point for it. <laughs> okay. Lying about the fact that it was always been that name, and you know, that's, that's you know, a tough raising one. that's a really tough one. that 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 was raising magic. the yeah you know I'm I'm building upon it, <laughs> and then raising the spirits of the whole crew with a great speech. You're like, hey, we're halfway. The great party we just had, the good times that we'll be having on our way forward. First job, get her done. This is good. This is good. Mr. Lake pipes up. Are we gonna have that uh, week, that monthly thing I talked about? <laughs> uh, For those of you listening who are not aware what that is, it might be at the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that. <laughs> we'll discuss it. <laughs> nope. I'm smoking pipe weed in my office. <laughs> Through a Gandalf sized pipe. I'm drinking. <laughs> Beatrice has actually replaced it with something that's like. Non, uh, now, something that's not going to Are you going to specifically prevent me from ending my speech about freeing slaves? Yes. Okay, I'll not include that. We hear you say that in the middle of the speech in your head, and we go, <laughs> no! <laughs> in unison. It's just a chorus of, no! Yeah. Okay. That somehow wakes up one of the people in the Do you want a throat punch? Because that's how you'll get a throat punch. Uh, right. You make charisma. That is 19. 19. You want to uh, spend a point and roll a d6? Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, there you go. 22. DC was 20, yeah. <laughs> nine! You got a pair of nines. Yay! Nice. Oh, and you got that right back, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you got two floating skull legging points. See? He, 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 he dug us a hole and pushed us in, but he's now starting to get us out, so... so. He's not put. He's not at even yet. I'm starting but, to like this one. Yeah, that's he has that. prevented us from key hauling. He stumbles, him. but he's going forward. Key, but thing is, that's what adventure is. Key, <laughs> okay. key, 
Key oh, hauling would be like. However, we might still come out of this. Okay. Of That's keys, limping. So you just roll someone around in it. Uh, we might I mean, that would also okay. suck. Rural town. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's not how this goes. I'm used to military orders. Well, actually, but, a key is another name for a dot. So key hauling might be dragging <laughs> someone across a wooden dot, which would also suck. All right, right off. Right <laughs> <Of course. laughs> just drag him. That's where um someone's was a jerk. So you tie him to a rope on the end of the dock, and then you start sailing away, <laughs> and you drag him off the dock, and then pull him back on board. <laughs> that water skiing was invented. <laughs> yeah, there was, the, there was one guy named John Waterski, who actually worked out a method. He was notoriously a terrible, terribly insubordinate sailor. <laughs> he had amazingly creative. Yo. Or wakeboarding. Yeah, he took two planks and put them on his face. <laughs> while wakeboarding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome, let's go. Let's, let's do this. Alright. So you guys set sail. It actually would have taken you uh, probably a day or two to repaint the ship, so on the plus side, you will be arriving in a day that the note did not specify you were going to be showing up on. So there's that. Yay! Uh, the first thing you do notice as you approach the island is, what time are you going for the island? Anyway? I'm a day. Yeah. High noon. Yeah, also that Early way, morning. That way if we need to wait for it to get dark for stuff to happen, it won't be conspicuous of what it is at. Right. Round noon then? Yep. All right. Your ship uh, starts making its way toward the harbor as you approach the island itself. You can see that uh, they've started shoring up that section of the warehouse a bit. Like, it has a roof again, there's like a tarp over it. It looks like they've made some headway in repairing it. Oh, by the way, you're never allowed to write anything ever <laughs> for this period of time. It's terrible. <laughs> no pencils. Like, you are never allowed to write anything. <laughs> God, you must you. make this a detriment to the entire party. <laughs> Come and do all your writing. Well, you, you realize why, right? <laughs> yeah, but That's are you going to do that again? Are you going to no, do that No, no, no. I learned from Do you guys realize See? why? No, but do you guys realize why? You can compare handwriting. Oh, but only for while we're on the island. Yeah. Yes, that's, oh, that's what I was saying. Okay. crack yeah. forensic technicians yeah. that the like, slave camp has. <laughs> no, CSI if, cane if racks. Maybe, 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 to be fair, maybe one of the slaves they abducted was like a forensic tech. If it looks, <laughs> if it looks close enough, like, that could cause a lot of problems. To be fair. This is something very important. I'm just saying. Ambassador that. has to hide. I was only saying <laughs> just for the island. Sure. It's because he's was scouting around the island. He's most likely been seen. Just you know, it's just a freaking bird. No one cares. So. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Let's keep him in the kitchen, and we can better, pretend. But there's a slim him chance someone might recognize it. Yeah. And I am gonna mention Eduardo would pr probably have really distinctive handwriting. Oh. Yeah, it's actually, actually like giant. Every stroke is like takes up half a page. Yeah. It's like everything he writes is John Hancock's signature. Yeah. Yeah. His eyes with hearts. As you approach, you see that they have shored the roof back up. It is erect. There's still a large chunk missing out of it that apparently they couldn't pair. But there's a tarp stretched over it. I'm it's assuming they are out of the wood. Possibly, yeah. Here's hoping. Uh, one thing you know you notice looking at that is if like the wind kicked up badly, that would probably rip right off. So that's not going to hold for very long. It'll hold against like mild inclement weather, but if there's a storm, that's gone. <laughs> uh, the other thing you notice is these uh, these two towers have been sort of repaired in the sense that they have been tipped back up and then braced with a bunch of boards. It looks like a fair amount of the boards they uh, spent went into doing that <laughs> could have been used to repair the roof. Uh, anyone can give me an intelligence check, actually. Uh, 20. 20? Right, 21. That's enough. Yeah. It occurs to you that if they spent a large portion of their wood fixing the watchtowers, they're definitely expecting trouble. Yeah. Beatrice will certainly so share that So they almost certainly got a hold of that note at some point. <laughs> oh. All right. The other thing you notice is actually it's been a couple of days. That probably they probably would have uh, eased up a bit there. Uh, yeah. The other thing you notice is you don't see any slaves wandering around working. Do we see any slaves at all? No. You do see some of the slavers wandering around, standing in guard towers. Some of them are just standing on roofs, looking around. And then one of them has like the just chained them up. To oh God, we just uh, caused a genocide, didn't we? No, not necessarily. That'd be unwise. No, no check required. If they didn't have any slaves, they wouldn't have a business anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Like that would just be functionally suicide. You know, before we get there. I have ambassador check the slave hunt. Look inside a hole, see if there's inside. Well, I say you probably I'm, had a good plan leaving I think, ambassador. I think they're already in there, so 
Yeah. Like, I think we can assume it was just They're just one. keeping them hold. And we don't need to know everything. Uh, as you pull up alongside the dock, unless there's something you wanted to do beforehand, a goblin comes out wearing a big <coughs> wide hat. He's got a whip on his belt, a machete, thumbs in his belt. Hey, what's going on? Hi, looks like you got some damage there. Want to buy some wood? Don't. Um, <laughs> shipping lumber? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we came from, uh, we came from... What was the port? Brighton. 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 And we got a job to ship some wood here. When you say Brighton, he goes, <laughs> spits on the dog. <laughs> yeah, well, don't worry, we don't like your laws uh, either. We're, we're trained with you, yeah. so. Beatrice just kind of comes up with a little purple. She's like, I have a, I have a shipping manifest here if you'd like to. Uh, All right, come on down, take a look at it. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Do you want a piece of shirt? Yeah, I'd say, like, probably the two of us are, are Sir, going to go talk. I've fixed my share of wagons. Do you need help with that building? You guys are offering to pat help work on it too, Dave. Yeah. Uh, right. some fort. I mean, I wouldn't be able to stay here long. Uh, Trevor, that's it's incredibly stereotypical. <laughs> uh, I wish sir. to point out this character existed prior to this session. Okay. His name was Chopper. <laughs> like I was gonna say, like that's very. I, I just, I just wanted there to be a goblin who had like a cowboy hat and aviators if they existed. <laughs> I am not against stereotypes in this goggles. campaign. Just black goblins. It's just. <laughs> That's yes, just, that's like just prejudice, uh, Trevor. Uh, I know. Not all Southerners are racists. This is um, true. Uh, we have a number of crew who'd probably uh, who'd be, be happy to have help you as in addition to our fee, of course. It, we might could work something out on that one. What are you uh, looking to get for? It's uh, like have... looking through, looking through uh, your manifest. Goes, oh. I can give you, he doesn't use this term, but I can give you 16 lucre for it. Uh, well, I believe uh, should, we should be discussing with whoever is in charge here. Uh, that'd be me at the moment. Uh, Axe Gore's gone AWOL. Who's going to work? Axe He's the boss. Ah. We can't find him. He we went missing a couple of days ago. Round about the time someone wrecked our warehouse. Well, oh god. Was it thieves or...? Uh, we didn't take anything. It just apparently him. I'm not sure what they're up to. Well, uh, maybe What makes you so death? sure he didn't do it? He's the boss. Why would he do it? No, I think it's I more mean, likely someone kidnapped him and uh, <coughs> did the damage to cover their escape. That's kind of what we're figuring. The thing no, we can't uh, figure out is why they're doing it. Well, it's fascinating as we're really just here to look at this. Yeah, same here, same here. Now, um, he has offered you 16 lucre. I will tell you the way negotiations work mm-hmm. for these sorts of jobs is each legitimate point you can make for why they should pay you more is worth an automatic bonus. You can then choose to roll a charisma check. One of you, who's whoever makes the negotiation can roll for the check. You must declare in advance whether you're going for a normal DC, a hard one, or a ridiculously hard one. If you succeed, you increase your reward by one, two, or three. If you roll less than a 10, you take minus one. If you roll a natural one, you also take minus one. It is possible to get both of those penalties on a single roll. <laughs> now, is assuming the that... lucre in sugar? Yeah, what okay. they're doing is trading lumber for an amount of sugar. Alright, now, assuming that it's going to be the captain and myself who are doing the negotiating. Anyone can do the negotiating, but yeah. Okay, but like, it. assuming that is... A, You're sort of all assisting to an extent, but one yeah. of you makes the roll. And we're also able to communicate telepathically. Yep. So now, assuming that we've got these two things, could we like sort of tag team him to lower our uh, like the actual DC check of the check, or give do an assist uh, of some kind? The DC, not really. No. But could we do an uh, assist of any kind to the um, rolling the check? I could convince him to person that pay more for the wood because he's going to need no, more. You just no, you just fix the bill. You just stand behind me and he's crack your knuckles very loudly in a threatening manner. I'm not uh, intimidating no. a slaver. Can you come up with like. A really good way you could be like properly assisting beyond just talking amongst each other mentally. Uh, I would let them like roll twice and take the highest. Um, so for wait, so for the offered price, do we know if that is a worthwhile trade for the our current lumber stocks? What you know about trade in general yeah. is he's looking to haggle here. Yeah. He's giving you the lowest price you can think of that you might actually accept. Okay. And one thing that clearly occurs to you, you said you were coming from Brighton, that's four weeks away. Yeah. Food and water cost to travel four weeks is 16. Ah. He has offered you cost ah. for what it took to get out here. <laughs> All right. Now, worth noting, that's not necessarily an insult. Some ships will actually accept jobs at cost. Yep. Because they wanted to go there anyway, yep. and they're just like, whatever, this covers our travel expenses. Yep. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah. Merchant ships don't accept costumes. <laughs> yep. I believe that we should probably take these negotiations to a more formal setting. Do you have an uh, officer sure. like you, or would you like to come on board for us? Yeah, you can come into the manor if you want. Excellent. He'll lead you over here. I... How many of you are going in there? I'll go along. Sure. Me too. I look like the responsible type. <laughs> Is he going to walk us in there with the a room ship. with five of us? Thank you. I was hoping somebody would actually want to guard the ship, because I do want people guarding the ship. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Other than the crew people. Yeah, I'll go along, because I got some backgrounds. And, yeah. And Brennan? The captain. You're the captain. Captain, you should probably be part of the negotiations. Uh, honestly, but quartermasters usually do yeah, negotiate. Yeah, no, I'll... Okay, fair uh, the captain... <laughs> <laughs> might or might not. There's perfectly legitimate reasons he might stay on the ship to like order people to haul stuff. For yeah. Example. yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll <laughs> like, oh, I'm gonna stick to this. I'm gonna stick to the ship because I'd rather not have only one uh, person on the Jeffrey, ship. Not that it's just the not because it's you. Mm -hmm. Just because so, only one person. Normally you'd stay on the ship. You don't have to though. I mean, to the slavers the don't know what your job on the ship. Yeah, is. I'm sort of a I'm a charismatic character, so I figured you yep. know I'd be good for. A lot. We, we do have one of us are charismatic. All of us are charismatic. Except for him. Right. Once we hit once we hit level four, by which he means everyone at least has a bonus in it, except mm -hmm. him. Once we hit level four, I will have exactly the same um, charisma actually, modifier as you. Instead of you coming with us, Unless we should see have you actually go check out and say like, oh, like, why not have nope. a while you're doing no, that? No, why not no. go have a look at the damage yeah. to see if I can assess how much like what right. this will take? Yeah. I skewed my character for early game. Would you mind if I? Uh, I may need an escort, of course, but I would like to look at the factory, look at the damage. I could suggest ways it can be fixed. Sure. He is a guy. He'll yes. send, uh, suggest ways to bring the part better. <laughs> himself as Eli. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Eli. I'll I'm San Gomez. Ah, right. San Gomez. Uh, come on. Yep. Walks over there. You guys are looking around in the, uh, yeah, it looks like, um, they've moved the sugar away from here and moved some of, like, the drying cane over there. But there's not really enough room for them to get it actually completely out of the way. You could definitely point out that that sugar is at risk if there's a storm to get some kind of bonus. Uh, I will also tell you uh, if you lie and claim that uh, you saw a storm moving in on your way in, you might be able to make that even higher. And actually, if he telepathically communicates that to us that we're going to do that as well, we could also casually mention that in our. Yep. It's like in we face, I, I get a rough He doesn't need to be the one who tells that lie. Yeah. I can feel it in well, my bones. Well, if you mention it, we mention it. Actually, I, I also should, have another lie. Actually, I have this. another idea. Instead of going with them with the negotiations, I'm uh, something of a clever Casanova with a high dex and a high charisma. I'm wondering if I might be able to uh, go into this, go find slaves secretly and uh, have uh, discussions about their working conditions. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> I'm gonna try to start a revolution. I really hope not. <laughs> Is that also a euphemism? <laughs> uh, they might have multi purpose Do you slaves. ask one of the slavers uh, where the slaves are, or ask for directions, or do you just sort of wonder? Like, why on? isn't anyone working? Like, are you sneaking about it, or are you just like uh, asking? I start off asking. I'm wondering uh, how how is uh, work going around here? Like, how are the what are workers doing? Uh, it's shut down for the moment. Oh. Really, like they're all, uh, was there, is it because of the uh, incident here? Yeah, we're trying to figure out what went on, so we've been talking to them, questioning oh, okay. them. They're staying in the bunkhouse at the moment. All None right. of them seem to know anything, though. All right. My character starts to In act. the meantime, until we get the towers fixed properly and we can keep an eye on them properly, we're going to have to keep production down. Yeah, I'm actually thinking of getting a few new crew members. Would you be interested in... Uh... You want to buy some? I would like to speak with them first, but uh, if sure. there's some you want to buy them, buy one. They're five loot per head. Okay, I'll go. Uh, I'll go talk to it then, if that's all right with you. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we're not really supposed to let anyone in. Let me make a Christmas check. Can you talk to it? All right. Uh, respectable ten. Uh, you're a bard. I'm just gonna assume that works. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, I guess so. If you're looking to buy, yeah. he leads you over to where the bunkhouse is. There's a. Yeah. If you let me add clever Casanova, that would be a twenty. Depends. Are you hitting on him? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what did that total to? Uh, twenty. Well, that's a hard DC. Yeah. yeah. He actually seems interested. <laughs> <laughs> Some action. Yeah. Yeah, he leads you over to where the bunkhouse is. You can see that uh, some boards have indeed been taken away from it, mm -hmm. probably to help with repairs. Yeah. Yeah, the house has a window that wasn't there. 
when they were exploring the island. Yeah. There's a bunch of slaves. Uh, inside the bunkhouse, there's just a single open room with a bunch of pretty ratty looking mattresses, essentially. Mm -hmm. Just like, not mattresses, but pallets. Yeah. So, like, they're all in like one building? Yeah, it's yeah. a single building. Okay. It's just like a floor with a bunch of things you can sleep on. It's a bunch of slaves sitting around talking. Okay. I'm like, all right. I try to find a couple one. of them are like just eating like cane or something. Do any of them stand out? They're like, it doesn't look like they may have served in a guard previously. Give me a wisdom check to assess like personality traits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I crit. Nice. nice. <laughs> uh, one thing you notice is the position they're sitting in mm -hmm. appears to be kind of rigid. Mm -hmm. At one point, one of the slaves like tries to go over to a mattress near this corner and gets shoved away from it. Yeah. Uh, you realize this corner has a boiler on the other side, so it's probably warmer in this section. Mm -hmm. So there's probably a bit of a pecking order of who gets to sleep closer to the warm corner. <laughs> Are you going to buy the alpha slave? <laughs> there is a guy sitting over there. He looks grumpy. When he looks at you, he just sort of stares at you. Most slaves don't meet the eye when you're looking at them. He is looking at you. Okay. I, go walk I think he's a little defiant. <laughs> Hi there, what's your name? Or do, you or do they have names? <laughs> yes, just like those names. Okay. <laughs> How else would you tell them apart? Okay. Slave oh, number three. I Depends. think it's just Number's you, you Crack Slip. Uh, I'm an interested party. Yeah, name's Gerard. Is the uh, fellow I was talking to before, is it just slaves in here, or is the person who I'm ta I was talking with following? Uh, he's just standing by the door. Okay. He's leaning on the fence. Is he listening pr pretty acutely? Listening, no. He's staring at your ass. <laughs> <laughs> he's lost in he's thought. He's not, he's, he's lost, he appears to be lost in some sort of thought process. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's probably not listening very intently. <laughs> I wonder, uh, how much do you like working here? Is that a trick question? What the? <laughs> he just, like, we all hear this. stares at you, like, blinks twice. Where are you from? Is that a trick question? <laughs> I don't believe the uh, fellow behind us is uh, particularly attentive. If I'm, uh, I'm asking him honestly. I would like an honest answer. Well, it's called slave labor. <laughs> So it sucks. Can I help and like just be like? Yeah, we're too feel free to talk to me mentally. No, I know. Like with like with the like, do I know anything? As in like typical terms used among like slave communities that might that might be used to like certain lingo that might not be known to the uh, slavers of like how to like like signs symbols. Varies a lot between slave communities, yeah. but um, you think you'd have to actually like take a look at him yourself to really get much of a bearing on him, because you're just getting like a description. Yep. Why don't you ask him what his history is? <coughs> ask him his history. Okay. So That's you got you crit your insight, right? Mm -hmm. uh, he's got a Brighton accent. Okay. Ding ding ding. So I'm wondering uh, if this place could use a change. Actually, of you um you did research to find out about the, uh, the ship shipping on it. Uh, Gerard was a name on the manifest in it. <laughs> so he's an, uh, evidently at least one of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, she yeah. will communicate this information to you telepathically. Mm -hmm. There was a Gerard yeah. on, the, on the Brighton... Uh, what's the term I'm looking manifest. for? Harbor Patrol? Harbor Patrol, yes, thank you. Harbor Patrol crew. Coast Guard. Uh, so could be, could be the, uh, the Gerard in question. Uh, ask, ask his history or how long it's been there. Jeffrey, you're totally on the right track asking if He'd like to see a change in management around here. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if you might be interested in a change of management around here. Or just ask you to change you the working environment. I'm speaking yes. of yes. something yes. a bit more... Yes. No, uh, no, 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 you got it. I, I'm, I'm with you. Something a little bit more... Something a little bit I'm more... I'm thinking of something a bit more proactive on your part. What do you say? He, like, glances at the guy at the door. You lean in and whisper. I'm trying to start a slave revolt. <laughs> oh, why didn't you say so? <laughs> <laughs> New rule! <laughs> we be direct! Always! <laughs> Fair enough. So. Oh, of course. Not necessarily always. In so all like, my years. We tried that once before. Mm -hmm. What happened? It cost me the last of the crew I was with. I was captured. Just meet him. What happened? Right. What do you need? I'm wondering if uh, there was a way if uh, things were successful, uh, 
would people stay and would, would you have an idea of uh, how to run this place without... Uh... I think it wants to go back. I mean, like, overthrow the place? Take it over? Or you I mean, go back. You guys know how it works. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take much to be some... They certainly know how to bargain with each other. Yeah. yeah. Is there anyone, like, a particular leader that you uh, guys follow around? Not really. No check required. He's sitting in, like, the, the prime spot. Mm -hmm. He probably is one and doesn't realize it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they just follow him. <laughs> I'm wondering if... Uh, I'm wondering if you may have noticed a little rock that may have flown in recently. Oh. No. Don't. Yeah. No. You guys. No. Stop talking. Yeah. No. 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 That probably had a lot of negative Harvey repercussions from them. Harvey found it. He can't actually read. Uh, he just handed it to one of the guards. He thought one of the guards had dropped it. I'm not sure what it said, but it left us get locked up in here and yelled at for several hours. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Unfortunately, the crew member responsible for that has been severely punished. What crew member responsible has been shot? And <laughs> severely reprimanded. Give me a blood check. <laughs> no, I mean he's got. He was not severely punished. He was, he was just scolded. Uh, severely severely punished is like punched, beat, and dragged around. You mean you didn't actually do that? Depends, did you? <laughs> no. No. Aww. This close. I don't run that kind of crew. <laughs> yes. Go back to the goblin. You look so, is like, disappointed. I don't goblin. beat him. Yeah, he does it willingly. <laughs> <laughs> How many times do I have to say it? He does it willingly. It's a very suspicious goblin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can I take that back? Because I was under sure. the impression that, yeah. All right. Uh, what happened and what does he need? Yeah. What happened yeah. in the previous I would, one? I know, I would ask out. him, yeah, what would what, what would uh, we be able to do to help push the last, things along? Uh, revolution? Uh, well, we got betrayed from the inside. One of the slaves was with the cut and get himself some better accommodations, ratted us out. They were waiting for us and we tried to sneak into the mill to get the machetes. They were just waiting for us, just unloaded on us with bows. Did you trust this man a lot beforehand? Uh, to be honest, I don't trust many of these guys. That a bribe them. He had a goatee. <laughs> <laughs> we have no. I'm just wondering if uh, a select few of you might do better, whereas uh, the whole of you might. Possibly. I mean, the last time we tried it, though, the guy who ratted us out actually came with us. This I mean, would have been weird if he didn't. Uh, he actually got shot with the rest of them, though. So, we might be able to swing that. Hey, look what happened to the last guy. We had to yeah. yeah, look how far it got him. If I was able. Are there any armaments on this island that might... Machetes. There's some machetes that are kept in the mill house. Mm -hmm. There's gestures over there. Mm -hmm. uh, the slavers got whipped. Some of them have got bows, but they keep those in the manor house. Okay. Steal all if the... If I was able the to uh, procure some of these items for you, how many would you say you need? Um, it's going to be some for you. There's around 40 slaves. Mm -hmm. Currently, so around Okay. Do you want to try and get Shank and Kopesh to do that? No, wouldn't it be easier to sabotage the slaver's weapons? How would we sabotage a machete? Cut the, cut the bowstrings. Yeah. Although they're, they would just be able to reach The problem them. is currently they're carrying them. Yeah, so. that's true. <laughs> and also wonder if I'm going to... Sneak up on the pair of scissors. Twain. Hug! I would call that a DC 25 check. <laughs> Although, and I'm gonna start that calling said... You You've got two hits of nine points, Gold mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to get a shank and cold patch on the uh, smuggling machete? Yeah. I would like to talk to Eli, try and convince them that they desperately need more wood now, which will put us in a better bargaining position yeah, so, so we can go for a higher price. Yeah. I think. And I'm, well, I think, I've, got, I've got points here for what I'm going to talk about. I think from what we've learned, yeah, we'll get shank uh, and I'll give you that. a couple of things you can point out right off the bat just because you're an experienced quartermaster and other sort of stuff. Okay. Uh, lumber is a non-local material. That's an automatic plus one. It's hard uh, to get. These are slavers on a remote island. The nearest other yeah. island does not like them. So they probably don't get a lot of opportunities to buy stuff. Uh, they do have an immediate need for lumber, of course. Sorry, if they don't They're going to have a greater sugar, need for lumber in five seconds. <laughs> There is the fact that the sugar is at risk. 
if you manage to successfully lie about there like being Storm. bad weather coming, you could get that bonus time. Okay. If we're, are we still in the sleep house right now, or are we moving on to the negotiations? I would like to uh, do something that would help get back you. Certainly. I'm okay. going to talk to Eli, asking him about any work they've done to further repair this, because this rot is extensive. This rot was years in the making, and I guarantee you it's in every one of these buildings. In fact, why are you storing things in here? The whole roof could come down at any minute. And in fact, you put more wood up there supporting those towers, you don't even have the right nails in there. The whole thing's going to come down. You need to replace every building. Now, give me either charisma to talk him around, intelligence to just demonstrate a really clear understanding of this sort of building, or wisdom, which is like perception, just point out flaws. Yes. Any of those will work. Wisdom with the, uh, I prepared my share of wagons. Sure. Sixteen up. You don't need to. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, he's like looking, you're like pointing out like, because your cloak did rot out the pillar, but it yep. also spread outward a bit, and you're like pointing out like places where like, that, see that, that's black mold, you don't want sugar in the same place that's growing. Yeah. And he's just like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and on. those ain't roofing nails. Yeah. Why did you use regular nails? Yeah, hang on, I, I gotta go tell Chopper about this. Also, one, so. actually, uh, he actually back leaves, and he actually leaves you alone. Oh. Ooh. Uh, just as, a, as another thing, though, uh, if you had a way of communicating to us, like if you like were to later come into the into where we're negotiating and say, by the way, there was black mold in the place where they're storing the sugar, that devalues the sugar. Oh, you're right. Double duty. Yeah, but do you also got another charge of that cloak now? How? Oh. Uh, it's day. It recharges every full heal up. Oh, okay. It also recharges if you eat somebody. I thought it only ever recharged. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I like, told you! Guys, guys, thought speak for a second. I've been left alone. Now, I could further the damage with the rot. I'd take out a tower. But that might make me suspect. Are there any wood supply? Uh, like, just wood supplies. Like, don't destroy anything. Just uh, destroy. Can use. You might be oh, okay. able to make yourself less suspect if you also injure yourself in the process. <laughs> that is a damn good idea. <laughs> Although it kind of just looks like you got injured in your attempt to... Or at least I look injured. Yeah. If, uh, if, you... if he literally just pointed out how unsafe that building is, yeah. and then the building collapses on him, and he's hurt in the process, yeah. you could also try and swage that your crew member was hurt. Or yeah. <laughs> 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 just milking them. I collapse a tower. Just without having hey, to free the slaves. If you guys realize that yeah. we're, we're overthrowing them, and we don't yeah, but let's just try. Yeah, but we still want to milk them we for money. To, well, no, we can still do that. Well, we don't have to milk them for money because we can just take it eventually. But the thing is, if we can't overthrow them, we still want to get as much out of them as All we can. Right. Yeah. Also, at the moment, noting, we don't have the ability. You're basically trading for an amount of sugar. Yeah. It would take hours to move heavy bass bags of sugar into your ship and get the lumber out. Like even if you didn't sell the lumber, you have to. Yeah, take we want to do this first. So. If the rebellion did not go in your favor, yep. and you had to leave suddenly, you'd get nothing. Yep. <laughs> and besides, even if we do overthrow it, slaves are going to want to keep the sugar so they can sell that. Yeah, there's also so, that. <laughs> so, yeah, let's... Uh, I'm just saying, we don't have to go as like far as... Yeah. And Sangomas is enjoying Well, I think this. we'd be suspicious if we aren't trying to do as much no, as I possible. I go up to a support so. pillar around here, and just go... <laughs> And Are then, you going for, yeah, support, yeah, support. Oh, you like collapse the whole front. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. nice. Let's go for a tower. <laughs> now, I'm gonna go to this corner of the uh, warehouse. So when things fall down, I'm gonna run over to one of the pieces of wood, maybe nailed wood or something, and just start scratching my arm and leg with it, and then just stumble out of the building. All right. Give me um. Dex. No, wait, hold on, hold on. I guess. I so. Okay. I'll let eight. you add acrobat. After the building collapses and stuff, or that, whatever I can run to your aid. No, you don't understand. If I fail, I actually get hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, you can always just, like, like try and, like, get like, it so you're, like, kind of stuck. He's gonna be hurt regardless. Yeah. yeah. The question is, how hurt? <laughs> you can also, like, let the class pretend to be, like, kind of stuck in it. Oh, yeah, that's, like, a 23 before background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you look fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> you were, like... Lots of little cuts everywhere. So Rip my lots, shirt. There's lots of blood, but there's no like crushing impact, so it just hurts a lot. 
Uh, you just mark off our recovery, but don't lose any actual recovery. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, I think... it's still our... Yeah. yeah. Mine, I do a mind... Uh, uh, start blowing as you're, like, talking to Travis and then discuss things. He's like, huh, what the fuck? Uh, actually, like the last thing that happened was Eli walked in. A guy, to you, you don't recognize him, but it sounds like the guy Daniel described, walked over to Chopper and whispered something into his ear. They, like, talked aside for a minute, and then there was a huge crash, <laughs> and then alarm horns started going up. I like, future's like, immediately starting to stab like, snaps I make my way to the building. Chopper goes, one second. <laughs> I told you about the mole! <laughs> and I scream like, as loud staggering. as possible. <laughs> I told you! God damn it! And then your head collapsed! <laughs> I told you, and then you had to run over. <laughs> so you know. I think I would go off the ship to no, check things have, out. You have the, yeah, if after the thought class, speak, you everything is okay. So uh, I'm yeah. getting a thought piece. No, I'm I'm going there to just yeah, be like, yeah. what the? <laughs> I'm going to remember. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for fuck's sake. Yes. I think I have a plan for how the revolt is going to go. Basically, we're going to go through business as usual, and then when it's all completed, I'm going to have a big concert right in the ta tower in the middle of there for all the guards to be in, and then I'm going to use uh, certain... Uh, so you distract Shank? them yeah, so, in the yeah. house? Because we we they, they have live, a drunken and party every yeah, night. They don't really want to have a party in the tower oh, okay. full of bat poop. <laughs> okay. Or no, no, bats. I would just say There's that a reason that tower's so over there. <laughs> no, no, that would be my stage. They'd like camp out like Woodstock <laughs> or something. It's like on top just, of the tower. Just, just distract them distract, here. Well, yeah, I feel like the bats might object to you holding a loud concert. Yeah, just, just, just oh, okay. put party yeah, let's, there. Let's, let's right. cross that bridge when we arrive you probably it, don't want look, to do look, it wherever we have the car uh, concert, anyways, we, I distract all the guards, and then I use a few key uh, words in my lyrics, uh, which I describe to my uh, slave friend here, and when I use those uh, words in my lyrics, that triggers a huge revolt while all the guards are distracted. <laughs> Alright. We also gotta get the weapons to them, I'm assuming uh, that's we're like... No, we're using Shank and Kobash. Okay. So you're gonna spend yeah. that? Yeah. Sure. Sounds like a plan. Like now or later? Uh, when After, uh... During the concert. Yeah, not... Yeah, not yeah the concert yet. is gonna be like They're in celebration of our good business and having fixed up the whole warehouse and everything. Okay. Um... <laughs> Uh, so once we have been informed that the building has collapsed even further, that our crew member has been hurt, and then he's also mentioned that there was black mold. Okay, you know, so the, <laughs> the alarms are going off. I go off the ship, find this guy, and go, What the hell did you do to my crew? Outrage. <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> and now they know why I'm negotiating. And then I, I like, I, I hold him, like he's like a dying brother in the military. <laughs> to like, add no. to my bluff, I just like, no. No! It's okay. okay. I'll be all fine. Oh, it's just a rib. <laughs> no, it's like smush your fingers. Like, no, don't talk. <laughs> it's it's okay. I'll be fine. <laughs> Cough up Do blood. you see all this blood? <laughs> okay, I'll throw something in your mouth. Take coughing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do a wrestler trick and just drag a razor blade across your forehead. <laughs> Ow! You just like have a wood on your head and go like. <laughs> and then pretend you coughed it up. Exactly. <laughs> what did you only do? Medic too. <laughs> it's okay, I still have these hands. This is our doctor! I can stitch myself shut. And you mentioned our doctor, so... Okay. You know how hard it is to sail without a doctor? God damn it! It's... I, it's so cold. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I got you. Where are you? It's right all black. I'm right here. Oh, me. That cuts into our profits a lot. Fire <laughs> some hey, rum. That at least is not my concern. <laughs> <laughs> the severe alcoholism of your captain is not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like you were so into the moment you missed like a portion of that conversation. It's like, wait, well, who's alcoholic now? <laughs> yeah. I barely drank last night. Yeah, so Beatrice will be sitting down, crossing from the very away from the microphone. You uh, a very professional, business-like approach, uh, but clearly, like she is like that's it. She's in her like business mode. <laughs> Thank you. Camaraderie. You get a point for that. I just remembered okay. what your drive was. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you this for a uh, situation. Because I was certainly an action with risk associated to it. <laughs> this was a 
not a not a short journey here, and we risked risk some trouble with the Brighton authorities if they knew what we would be able to do. So it did take a little bit of extra effort on our part, on our parts in order hey, to doing that. You got problems moving what moving what we're selling you? That is on the concern of who you're selling it to. Yes, but it also does develop, it makes your sugar worth a little bit less to us because it's more effort for us to move. Uh, she will go on to mention uh, that that not, our journey here was you know it's both not short and it was uh, it could have been it was a little bit made a little bit more difficult by the fact that we were chasing uh, we were trying to keep ahead of some bad weather that heads this way and we're gonna have to go back through it. Give me. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's more respectable. Yes. Uh, and that's a 20, so. All right. Yep. Uh, sorry, that's not a 20. That's a 15. I don't bureaucrat, nor be the bureaucrat, nor well educated apply to that. <clears throat> or well educated, she I could would, uh, lie. I about interpret bureaucrat as a I would, Yeah, I would have argued bureaucrat. Because <laughs> this is the, yeah, that's the okay, kind of thing then, bureaucrats uh, tend to 20. do. <laughs> Um, your sugar is worth less to us now, that if apparently it's been exposed to, exposed to black mold, we could be right, like, we might lose part of your shipment if it's been oh, infected. Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Mold only enhances the flavor. It's well known, fact. <laughs> Doctor? She just levels him with a look like... Ahem? <laughs> 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 What's his blood check? Okay, look, the, the mold was in the rafters. We do not store sugar in the rafters. <laughs> the rafters fell on me yeah, and on the sugar. It's not just the case that that sugar might be worth less. That sugar is actually now worth less. Your sugar is There's damaged. There's asbestos goods. in the ceiling. <laughs> Don't even. Like, I have the cancer. Like, do not insult me. <laughs> Hey, no, no one's insulting here. I'm merely trying to gouge as much money out of you as I possibly can. Oh god, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do the same. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. agree with that. <laughs> How dare you say gouge with my doctor like this? <laughs> but he's Shouting goes around side, he's like, <laughs> have... how did he even hear us? <laughs> <laughs> I have very acute hearing. <laughs> we have... Man. <laughs> <laughs> it, it'll be weeks before you'll be able to get another shipment of lumbering, uh, especially one of this this size right. that we've brought here for what, you. What, what makes you say that? We we get ships all the time. Negotiate a special deal for lumber with us. If you think I brought my ship here without doing my research, you are sadly mistaken. That that sounds like we prepared for something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, she, to she's so far like pushed yeah. like a reputation to be like she has graphs. Yeah. She has graphs. <laughs> <laughs> and you have no way of producing lumber here yourself. That's technically true. We, we could use sugar cane. <laughs> yeah, it really don't work to get it here. We, we tried using it on the repairs. It just sort of falls apart. Clearly that worked <laughs> well for you. I could have told yeah, you. Yeah, apparently not. And now we may have to compensate our doctor for injuries sustained on this trip. So, I'm sure you can patch in some concert. Yes. <laughs> Something about freedom. Like, we have we have an insurance clause. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> in this speech? I, thought, I figured oh, that's just that's just sloppy on your part. <laughs> just, no, during your concert, I, do you think I, I go have in with the clause? guy no. to give the speech? <laughs> well, you, you run slay. Oh, okay. During the concert, your concert is the theme. Okay, got it. I was so like, the points mentioned were a long journey, bad weather. They uh, can't keep the sugar themselves because their storage space is yep. damaged. They badly need what we have. Mm -hmm. It's hard for them to get because it's not local and they don't have a lot of traffic through here because it's uh, remote and no one likes them. <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> remote. Yeah. Face it, you don't get a lot of people saying that. That the stuff is damaged because of the black mold and the class building. They injured our doctor, and clearly I'm annoyed that I'm going to have to uh, keep our captain in quiet alcohol. <laughs> and like, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> yes. Like, She's giving him like a stern librarian face. Uh, he offers you a, a, a value of 27 as opposed to 16. Damn. Wow. You could try and swing the negotiating line. Right. I know. I know. All right. Dog. I'm not an alcoholic, am I? Um, I'm not an alcoholic. Do for doing negotiations? It's okay. We're all right. All uh, I will try and negotiate. I mean, I had like Are you three gonna drinks go for last 15? night. At most. For 20 or for 25? Well, I drink tea in the morning. No, I'll drink uh, this morning. Oh, it gives you more than two, three. But with three bottles last night. Well, with your friend and charisma alone, we get a plus of 10. So I'd only have to roll five or higher for the die. I've got that to hopefully get me a four or higher. 
I'm not even coming over right now. I feel like now that I've done the map, if I try going higher than the 15, I'm not going to get the extra. I'm going to speak. Reinforce his side of the story. So I guess I'm only going to go to the you were there. Yeah, Vivian, you went with her to yes. the negotiation. Yes, I did. Are you contributing? Mm, all right. Can I take that exact moment to walk you in with all my blood and wounds? <laughs> well, she's a I'm, she's uh, the a fact rogue. That you can walk, my yeah, no. Walk. No, 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 no. He's not. No, I'm I'm yeah. carrying him. Uh, okay. I'm carrying him in. She's my family I'm like, is look what happened. Uh, are you perhaps offering some sort of favorable deal, or lying and claiming you represent your merchant house? <laughs> can I, can I, can I bust in at this moment, carrying him? Sure. <laughs> Look what happened! Look at him! And fall are to my knees. Are you doing like the full-on princess carry? <laughs> yeah. No, like, I'm, I'm carrying like this, and I fall Not to my piano. knees. Like, Ugh! I am okay with and this. Beatrice just like puts a hand in her temple, like. <laughs> It's like, I don't think you get empathy. I, I blame you! Happy, is this is like squarely that. on you! I, I can't move my hand. No! His surgery I've, days I've are over! Yeah, I can't move my hands anymore. Well, it sounds like you don't need him anymore. <laughs> I'd, I'd just say, just leave him here. We'll take him off it's your like, hands. My art price just went up. <laughs> yeah. How do merchant houses work? So. Uh, they're basically just families that have extensive merchant contracts. Okay. It's mostly like an arrangement where you've worked with a lot of people in the past, mm -hmm. so they're inclined to give you better deals because they know you're actually up good for it, basically. Okay. Regular. I could also add that if this goes, if if we feel that this was profitable yeah, enough, we could be inclined to. I know we became one, but we were a merchant family at yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. That's another yeah, point we can add that. there. So you give me a bluff and check using your merchant background. Uh, just, just the merchant. Plus your level. Okay. Plus whatever your charisma is. Okay, that's twenty-three. I rolled right. nineteen. Sure. Nice. You can roll twice and take the highest on this. Okay. Uh, so should I go for the fifteen or should I go for the twenty? Go for the twenty. Yeah. Do not do like a game science all stuff, so that you can blame my dice when it goes horribly wrong. It's loaded. I feel like I'm going to betray my. No, go ahead. Not do it. So not do it. Yeah, you're fine. That. You're fine. Go ahead and do it. Roll both. I meant just roll both. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, you can roll both. Uh, so an 8 on one, a 15 on the other. So I'll take the 15, and since I get to add 10 to that, that's 25. Right. You were going for the 20? Yes, yeah, you get it. Damn it! <clears throat> oh, well. All right. We can negotiate a price of 29 lucre for that. Woo! Uh, I like, believe that this is a, a reasonable supplement. Based accountant! <laughs> yes. She's an accountant spelled O C C U L T I S T. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a cult. <laughs> Wait, and, and that's Sango just the mask. lumber and, that we traded, right? Yeah, we're that's still... the lumber you sold for sugar. We yeah, so now we still get the sugar, more two sugar. Horse and yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna bring like, Sangomas to uh, Captain's quarters so he can rest. Like, uh, his head. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell my goblin minion dude to like help this guy out and get him, get him whatever he needs. Cut the egg, man. <laughs> no, man. It's fine. Shh. <laughs> so anyways, uh, back to my enough. conversation with uh, the, uh, the uh, head slave. Uh, Gerard was his name? Yep, Gerard. Okay. Uh, Alright, so here's the plan. I'm going to try to get you as much weapons as I can. Um, after uh, we do business, fix up the warehouse and everything, I'm going to get I'm them going as to, drunk uh, as you can. And get the guards as drunk as I can. I'm going to have hold a huge concert, get the guards as drunk as I can. And I'm going to try to, so no guards are left behind, uh, invite all the slaves to the party. And what? so... Oh. I think it'd be better if we take out a tower for them, and then that might be the signal. No, no, the signal is going to be what? this one song. When I sing the words, the sun will be, will shine. But, wait, that is your cue. Aren't you like, oh. the, the slaves shouldn't be at the party, because we're going to be handing them weapons. I think what he's angling for is... Giving them weapons beforehand, they hide them on themselves. Oh. And then at the party, just pull them out and start axing people. Alright, fair <laughs> enough. Because that is historically a pretty good revolutionary tactic. Yeah. <laughs> crowd of people of mixed groups, half of the crowd abruptly draws blades and stabs the other half. I mean, historically, that's worked well. Just make sure you kind know of, who to stab. Kind of happened in. It, it's not hard. It kind of happened in Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh. <dramatically. laughs> People can pull oh, some crossbows. It's gonna be a red wedding. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Put some blades into people's guts. Like three of my favorite characters died that day. Yeah. Okay. All right. So 
So are you planning to do that? <laughs> Basically. I guess I'll it's I'll start a great night for a red wedding. Yep. I'll start uh I'll start getting people to uh <laughs> move the lumber off the uh ship. Yeah. And uh, we got uh, Shank and Copax already uh providing oh, yeah. the armaments. Shank and Copax should like went aside to some of your crew for a while and like talked over the huddle. And then yeah. two of the guys we were talking with went over to the warehouse to start moving stuff. Mm -hmm. One of them fell over into some boards. Yeah. And uh <laughs> you keep injuring my friends! <laughs> and it just, uh, when people went over there, Shank and Kopesh were like... <laughs> <laughs> dashed, as a, dashed over here. I see uh, you see them like, As uh, all the uh, slavers and stuff are coming over to inspect more noise coming from the warehouse, like, did it collapse a third time? <laughs> like, <laughs> we've still got one quarter left. <laughs> we can make this work. <laughs> That. <laughs> the power is gone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Shank and Kobesh, you, because like you're paying attention, you see like two goblins off at the back with like two wooden crates full of machetes. Go, like, oh, <laughs> a few machetes <laughs> actually fall out as they make their way. They fall out, and then one of them runs back and goes like, <laughs> takes both, then goes, <laughs> puts them under his coat. <laughs> I am okay with this. Good job, Shank and Kopesh. Yay. <laughs> and then Shank and Kopesh mysteriously appear at the warehouse again. Well, what happened? Oh, yeah, yeah, we were on the boat. <laughs> That's crazy. Man, Dave, you okay? <laughs> oh, man, Goblin slacking off? Who'd have thought? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's never happened. <laughs> I love that these two are like your go-to murder <laughs> You need something horrible names. done. Yeah. That's why we hired them. Yeah. <laughs> there are MVPs now. That's literally why we hired them. We hired them for this sole purpose. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, good job. Alright, so uh, you guys have managed to get the lumber offloaded and the sugar on. It's sort of moving into evening now. One thing you notice is uh, they actually look like they're starting to gear up to have bats start flying around at night, as they typically do. Uh, you're setting up for a concert. And, uh, where are you doing your concert, actually? Are you going to try and do it at the Bat Tower? Uh, or are you going to do it at the Manor House? Bat Tower might ro ro involve some concert. Warehouse. I'm thinking, like, we can fit more people, like, out in the Keep open. Keep in mind, yeah, these buildings are, like, that. This is just blown up so that it's easy. Yeah, so we could do it at the thing, but, like, in the open space close to the... Uh, okay. The, we can only. We can, but uh, yeah, if it's open air, then the bats could actually readily come in. You could like uh, go like on the roof of another building. That's yeah, what we, uh, uh, my crossbow back. and uh, I'm assuming a few of you have range weapons, right? Oh, I do. Um, I got a, sure. I got a crossbow as well. I have a knife. If they're here, that does. I actually have a battle champ that does thunder from damage. From I think that does a lot of damage oh, yeah. to bats. Oh, yeah. I think bats are vulnerable to thunder. I'm thinking that you could go on the roof right here, mm -hmm. and the audience could be like around here. Yeah, what do you think? Sure. That sounds, sounds good. good. That sounds yeah. good. So the roof of this building here, number five. By the way, I'm going to show up near the front on the stage, mm -hmm. a little uh, feigning drunkenness. Yeah. And then when you initiate, I'm just going to whip out the sword. Go, Let's do this! And then jump their feet down. <laughs> well, the thing is, you yeah. don't want to start attacking them before the slaves get over there. Yeah, you gotta wait no, the no, no, they're going to be there. Pleasure, yeah. Like, yeah. when, when okay. it's initiated. They have their bows on them at the party. Like, once so the, essentially, once all the slaves draw, I'm, do, I'm like, <laughs> Let's get this done! I'm there with <laughs> a set of makeshift crutches. Yeah. <laughs> or the, take the, the other thing is, uh, as you are setting up for the concert, you can give me, uh, trying to persuade you gonna come all the guards to come and bring a slave to them. You can give me a crit check for that. Rockstar right. would apply. Mm -hmm. That's a 16, oh, yeah. 16 on the die. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. Yeah. <laughs> it was a hard check, but you're gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you managed to uh, convince uh, all the, them to let the slaves come out and uh, make their little tank there. Uh, they do still have guys in those watchtowers, though. Um, so it looks like they're not willing to leave the island completely defenseless. Well, although you do still have a skull die rifle, mm -hmm. so you could have uh, them. We're gonna have Shank and Kobe your friends uh, split some throats. <laughs> are all of the bats in operation, or are some of the or did some of the bat guards end up? With Depends. How late do you uh, wait? Do you tell that they're flying? Or well, do you do all the noise that these guys can make, it's probably going to cause a detriment. Like before, they've got all the bats in motion. We actually don't so, have like, to kill the guards in the towers. We just have Shank and Kobe. Before Take it all gets their dark. Crossbow bolts. <laughs> It'll be an easier uh, thing to do. 
Yeah, um, but what if Schenck and Kopach do the, like, like, on the signal? They just it doesn't matter if we're on the equator. <laughs> I think he took the uh, letter I had that actually made reference to dates. Yeah, actually, although she uh, makes a good point, we're on the equator. We're, on the equator. we're yeah. in the yeah. island yeah. near the oh. equator. I mean, okay, the <laughs> so it's, it's going to be late evening. They're, the, 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 yeah. uh, it's more like, are there hurricanes? The sun sets really late. So uh, we're going to do this, like, evening but before sunset. So the bats haven't started flying yet. I will say you can pop a skull leg recheck to have your guys disable one of the towers. Or the other thing or they could do. Or if you wanted to go blatant, you could have them set the uh, bat tower on fire. I was going to say, if they lock the doors, like stop the bats from being able to get out, then uh, the, set it on fire. The tower yeah, the bats leave from doesn't oh. have doors. It's, ah, just, it's like a bell tower. If we it has secure a roof, the bats, we can slaughter them for food. Okay. I don't know. If we were ambitious, I'd be like, well, I want to eat one, but you so adamant that this isn't bad meat. Tends to be like super, super bad for you. Although it's very tough because they're flyers. No, I mean like infected with a lot of things. Although actually, that's a good point. Instead of having they're flying rats. Instead of having on the kind of bat. Shaking Kopech go for people in the towers. If they go for the goblins, that should be riding the. The bats. That's gonna they take can out. take the bats. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. No, that's what we have Shanky Kopech doing. I <laughs> Absolutely. Will, I will let you burn a uh, skill dragon point to have them try to steal two of the bats. <laughs> yep. Yes. yes! Or, or actually, they'd probably steal one because they don't really know how to fly them. They're probably Fair working enough. together on it. <laughs> yeah, that's still fine. pretty good. Although, I will totally let you have a bat rider on your side. <laughs> 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 they, uh, take, try nice. and take out the other uh, the, the riders. Is wow. I could probably do some sort of animal training to yeah. help stuff out. There we go. Yeah. Alright, sounds good. See, we don't need to kill all of our spread no. island or drown him. I never suggested that. I may have thought it <laughs> heavily. What? <laughs> in but our, I never actually in, said in our thoughts. We can we can all read our own thoughts, so you suggested it. Uh, no, no. Uh, you don't read each other's it's minds. Totally you only communicate what you want. Yeah. No, but he thought it loudly in thought speak. Yeah. Can you communicate so, it to who you want, like specifically, or just does um, it always go into like it public form? Goes collected. Yeah. Okay. I see. Actually, I would say you can. Yeah, like you can although, pass notes to each other. Although that might be something that requires a little bit more practice. Like yeah. after we. Okay. Okay. I see. Yeah. Or like the more familiar you are with a particular yeah. person, the easier it is. Yeah. So uh, may I begin my concert? Absolutely. Right. Oh, this is about a great hero of the land, a man by the name of Django. <laughs> Django, do you think that it's the end? Oh, Django, Django, will you ever love again? How you loved her, oh, oh, oh. how you lost her, oh, oh, oh. how you lost her, poor, poor Django. Though that one day that means now cloudy and gray Surely you must know by now all clouds pass away Oh Django When the showers are cool the sun will shine Shit <laughs> <laughs> There is a chorus of rustling coming from the crowd as 40 slaves draw blades and begin cutting down members of the slaver of the slave contingents. And with that, you guys can roll me initiative. <laughs> are you please kidding me? Please designate two of you, because you are getting a surprise round here. Uh, designate one of yourself to act in a surprise round, and then whoever rolls 19. Nice also. Uh, I think wait, if you wait, 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 stop, re stop revealing, because we need to designate the people first. Oh, okay. So, Do we I have think to designate first? Technically, but whatever. I, gotta I think I, I should go first, because I have an ability that gives everyone a plus one attack bonus. Your surprise round is that you just wait. On so we'll your designate guitar. you to go first, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, yeah, a pretty good roll, so. Yeah. I, I, it would make I sense to me to get the yeah, surprise. You need, they to, weren't expecting you need me. to, on your turn, you need to charge up your assist. No. Okay. Or, I'm not going to be of any help during the first round, by the way. By the way, I can do So. Either me or. The old. Two people here get an initial <laughs> bonus. <laughs> Uh, so since we nominated uh, you, you're not getting it. And the other one is... Uh, I have a good one. My initiative is only six, uh, so I didn't give you a bonus, one. I'm not going to move up that far. Uh, I'm going to do it just in the hopes that you're going to go above somebody, in terms of enemies. Uh, so you get a plus... 
If any, you can have like a target plus four to your initiative. Okay, so I'm not going It's pretty significant. And... You get it. Wait, who's going first? So plus four. So plus four, plus four. He's going He's going surprise round for sure. And whoever has the highest initiative. And then I also get a plus four. Twenty-four. Yeah! <laughs> Time to ruin some people's day. I am basically never going to choose the AC bonus. We are operating under the assumption here that the slaves are going to be able to differentiate between the slavers and the crews. Like they're familiar with the slavers, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. How do you roll this? No, it's like, I hate this guy. Like, four and five on the initiative. It's a one in 40 chance. Easily. So should we tell you all our initiative? Sure. Alright, I got a uh, 14. You're going first anyway. Okay. You're gonna regret giving us these chips eventually. Uh, 10. 24. Edward? 19. 11. 23. I miss being on the top of the list all the time. Who is designated play to her first? Uh, yeah. Jeffrey. There's people ahead of me. Oh, no. I'm not at the actual bottom. No, I am. You're also, Jim Shank was saying I'm going to higher on the chip than me. Shank and Kopesh beat all of you. <laughs> She's 25. Damn! <laughs> nice. You are awesome! At this point, they're just player characters. <laughs> the reason why uh, uh, Be uh, Beatrice is so late to start is she's actually making a note on her clipboard about giving Shake and Kopesh Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna <laughs> ask you, I was gonna like, hey, can we give them a raise? Yeah. Can we <laughs> make some kind of crew award? Yeah. For oh no, I'm gonna commend them in front of crew everybody. Crew award is called splicing the main brace. It means an extra ton of <laughs> Nice. That's an actual thing? That's what splicing the main brace is, yeah. Ah, okay. Technically, splicing the main brace is a really difficult repair job. Braces like a line. Splicing it means taking the rope that's split and weaving them together into one rope again while the sail is under tension. Oh god, it is the hardest emergency repair job on a ship. Traditionally completing it, the, all the crew who participated get an extra shot of rub as a reward for doing it. <laughs> so nowadays saying splice the main brace just means the crew gets drinks. We need to make some kind of metal that we can give them. No. Can make it out of I'm sure. just gonna commend them in the front of everybody, shot glass. and yeah, and then like, and then yeah, hand them like a bottle to just like, in front of everyone. That's how we Although, commend people in my in my division <laughs> by making everyone jealous. Although the other thing is, we've had everything no, that they've they should been be doing. Proud of their so where are you guys actually positioned? Because that's how you know Robin who's jealous. <laughs> No, I'm gonna be right in the like thick of it. Everyone gets with my no, no, Everyone gets drinks. They just get to do it like. Crap. Yeah, they get a lot. Of, yeah. Everything we've had, Shank and Kopesh doing, we've been having them do without the crew going. Crush, none chunks. So it could actually also oh, be yeah, our benefit to keep their drinks. activities uh, on the down low and just give them. Dude, that's gonna be your black bag, boys. Yeah, and also <laughs> yes. there's also the point of the matter uh, that. Um, what they're doing, it's easier for them to do it if even our crew isn't trying to, yep. isn't paying any attention to them. So just everyone gets sure. extra so, drinks. Where are you guys? Because yeah. um, you're probably somewhere in the crowd. Yeah, yeah Beatrice would probably have put herself in a position where she could watch other I'd probably be also be on the roof. I'm close to the closest it's tower. Like, uh, you know, it's like, like a like stage or something. I think this is a tower, right? That's not a tower. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Rody, Closer. Like, I'm ready to, like, go to it. I'd be up here, just somewhere out of the way, so he's not alone. Uh, they're not gonna let you stand on a building. Oh, but if he is... They're letting him, because he's doing a performance. They're not gonna let random chumps stand on the building. Okay. <laughs> uh, can I sneak up there? Uh... After the battle starts? Uh, if you had declared it first, yes. Okay, okay. Apparently, no, um, just because if you fail, they would have started shooting him. Okay. Uh, Could we have had, uh, when we was setting up, be, say that he was there to assist him, be like, he's holding his drinks and keeping him, like, fresh, taking care of him. Are you claiming that he's the grip? <laughs> he's the key grip. I will allow this. He's, that's the, he's I, a I, 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 Give me a dex check to have hidden up there. <laughs> if you fail, it just means they kicked you off. Alright. Where you can come to instead. Silver tongue sparkling No. no. <laughs> 18 on the die. Right. Pretty good skill rolls, guys. <laughs> Leslie Sterling, where are you? I'll be with the slaves coming out of the brush and charging through as one of the leaders of the charge. It's not really a charge, it's more of a surprise! Oh, well, yes, well, it's like everyone's, it's like a draw, and then we all run out. No one used the sugar cane here. What do we care? Surprise! Care? Murder. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, Shane. Right. So you'd just be like, I think he's enjoying this a little bit. Oh, where's Shane? Cool. Okay. They're, they're riding the back. They're over there. Yeah, they're ah, doing they the back. They snuck away. Right, they're stealing the back. They haven't showed up yet. Alright, so... 
Abraham and whoever picked action first. Uh, so yeah. You two get a surprise. All right. So uh, darn it. Um, okay. So what are what are the enemies just all around? They're all over the place. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Basically, the key here is that. Like, what we're trying to do is prevent as many slaves from dying as a part of this. Which means you're you're, you're basically in a set. crowd of people. You're yeah. basically going to get sneak attack. Yeah, whatever like, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> the tower hasn't been notified. I don't think they're going to be that much of an issue right now, I assume. Unless they're going to, like, fire arrows into the crowd. They're probably going to start shooting. They're absolutely going to fire arrows Okay, okay the then I'm going to go for the tower, probably. The only thing to keep in mind is this sugar cane, remember, is like tall. 6 to 15 feet tall. Okay. So, this is not like an open plaza with a bunch of people standing around. Okay. This is a bunch of people standing in what is basically a forest. Okay. So, there's a lot of confusion as many slavers aren't aware what's happened yet. Okay. So, I'll go into the brush and I'll look for the nearest slaver. Yeah. Oh my god, I got a re-roll! I'm an idiot! <laughs> Oh, all of us who are Wood Elves, do you remember? Oh. Roll your extra D20. Yeah. Or not D20, uh, extra well, D whatever. There's no it doesn't matter right now, so not right now. Yeah. Sure. Uh, do I see anyone? Yeah, there's lots of them. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see. Uh, I'll just use... I will say that um, as you're sort of approaching, yeah. lots of the slavers and slaves are fighting each other here and there. There's about six slavers you spot that appear to be trying to like rally people. They're sort of the ones that you're actually going to be fighting. The rest of this is like the cinematic background stuff. Yeah. Okay, so ah, it's going to be like yeah. that uh, <laughs> caravan last uh, campaign. Yeah, where most of the combat is just in the background. Okay. We're just fighting the it's ones like, that have. I'm not going to roll. 25 dice and then 40 mm. dice by myself over here. And yeah. like 20 <laughs> minutes doing that. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> makes sense. If we do well in this battle, the slaves yeah, do well. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. uh, so I'll just use. Because oh. basically, these appear to be like the highest ranking flavors. There's like Chopper, you can see Eli in there, a couple of the other guys, they were mostly ordering people around. They're apparently the ones attempting to rally a defense. I see. Well, I'm gonna tumbling strike one of them. Right, you had. Yeah! 18 plus. Uh, 6. 24. To AC. 24 AC? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I have my sneak attack. 8. Eight. You already have 4 8. 10. 15. 15? 15 damage. Alright. Ow. Oh! <laughs> and I make a quick uh, action to disengage. Sure. Fourteen. Fourteen, yep. You uh, pop away from him and disappear into the cane again. Is he like turning around to figure out where you went? <laughs> and then... I'm gonna All right, doing that I begin line. my battle song. <laughs> oh, you gotta ramble this? <laughs> <laughs> they ride a blazing saddle. They sail a shining star. Their goal is to bring battle to bad men near and far. Oh, they'll conquer fear and they'll conquer hate. They'll turn black night into day. They ride a blazing saddle to light us on our way. Right. We are now cowboys. <laughs> I actually wanted to prove. Nice. Everyone gets a plus one attack bonus until the start of my next turn. Yes. Yay. Technically, you didn't have to sing for that. I'm actually giving everyone plus two for their first <laughs> for this yeah. first round. Yeah. Well, that's why I, had, I didn't change any of the lyrics for that one. That's for uh, my sustain Sorry, ones. I just want to set the stage. All right. Now I'm going now. I'm wondering if I want to try. There's, keep in mind, there's a watchtower over there. There's uh, slavers with little bows. Uh, how many in one watchtower? There's like a couple. They're, the way the watchtowers work is they're functionally a hazard. Mm. On their initiative, every PC who is in line of sight of at least one tower gets shot mm -hmm. by them. Uh, the damage you take is based on the number of towers with a line of sight to you. <laughs> okay. How big is this, uh, like, I, I'm assuming this tower can see me, but, uh... That one can't. Yeah. That tower is functionally an obvious These ones, however, are. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, there's four there. And there's one over there, which can see you. There's one over here that can see you. Okay. Everyone can see you. Yeah. You're a stand up Yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, back them up. Your turn may want to consist of shooting a watchtower and then jumping down the building and into the sugar cane. Yeah. yeah. Before the bats come out. I'm wondering how stable the tower is. Can we say uh, that watchtower is stable? That one is not. <laughs> okay. Uh, you could certainly you can attack the people in it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna try to do the battle chant and try to shake the tower uh, over. <laughs> sure. All right. That's uh. That's a reroll. <laughs> okay. So that is uh, 22 versus mental defense. Oh, yeah. All right. Ah. <laughs> All right. And that's six thunder damage. Ah. <laughs> You're holding their ears. Ah. All right. I, uh, and I use my move action to run off the roof and jump in between the warehouse and the building. Sure. Give me a dex check to not take any damage. Hopping off a roof. Uh, can I add uh, clever Casanova? Are jumping, you jump, right? Jumping out of a bedroom window is perfectly valid. <laughs> I will accept this. He has done this before. Just, just after her dad comes home. Yeah. Okay, so I got an eleven if I add that. <laughs> All right, you're taking a bit of damage. Has anyone here watched the Musketeers? Take ten damage. The Musketeers. Oh, yes. <laughs> the very first episode, Aramis has to jump out a window, and then he doesn't realize how deep it is. He's actually hanging from the window ledge while the rest of the musketeers come up. They're like looking up at him, refusing to help. A uh, uh, bat with a pair of goblins on it comes out of that. Oh uh, yeah, tower. and uh, I got. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! One last thing. Hit. I got uh, an at a sixteen on that attack roll, so Hit. one nearby ally gets a plus two bonus to AC. Who wants it? Yes. <laughs> I'm rocking eighteen AC. Come at me, guys. I'm rocking nice. staying away from people as much as possible. Shank and Kopesh up here. <laughs> Shank is like holding the front of the thing like <laughs> trying to get the thing to fly straight. And Kopesh, uh, Kopesh in the, the back has a bow and just like, like <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we're paying them, we gotta pay more. I'm gonna take yeah, a shot. They, they, they're getting a bonus. He's gonna shoot at that guy who's shouting and trying to figure out where you are. <laughs> Yay. Oh. No, you know, that shot goes wide, the brush as he's trying to get his eye in on this back of a flying bat. This was not in his job description. <laughs> he doesn't hit the guy, but he hits one of the other slavers. Yeah, one exactly. Slavers. <laughs> he hits one of the other slavers. It's like, hard ah. to shoot with any accuracy from the back of a moving vehicle. Maybe him. Oh, me again. Turn. Okay, tell Link's right, same guy. It's like you don't want to have turns. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, wait, I actually, I could do something oh, yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you're still acting before any of the slavers, so you can free sneak attack still. <laughs> Swash buckle. Yep. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so I'm looking at it. I'm like, like, stab him with sugar cane or something. <laughs> like, pole vault with sugar cane. Yeah, no, you grab a stock of sugar cane and then you can rot someone with it. Oh. You run up, loop a rope around some guy's neck, pull the cane down, tie it, yeah. and then he gets, like, yanked off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. Love it. <laughs> I'm not sure how to use it. I'm like, I kind of want to launch myself using the sugar cane. Like, yeah, I go sure. on the top, I bend it over, and then I like launch back into the frame. <laughs> sure, you can do that. And <laughs> swash buckling like a pro. Yeah. I'd give you a bonus damage if you do that. Okay, awesome. But if you fail the roll, you'll take damage. That's fine. <laughs> Acceptable trade off. Yeah, I'm spending momentum. Going for the same guy? Oh yeah. Okay, so eight plus. You have a lot of points. Yeah, I know. So there's a plus two bonus to hit, right? So yep. sixteen with sixteen hit. Sixteen? Nope. Okay, yeah. I'm six hit. Sure. Thank you. Six. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Boing. I don't like the D ten of it. I'm gonna borrow one of those. God damn dirty dice tempers. <laughs> Just gonna touch each other's dice tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Alright, uh, you have staggered Eli. <laughs> so you fling off of that section of the cane and just plant a knife in his back. It's like, Argh! And You are now sort of riding on the back of him. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's tumbling strike, sure. so I can't. Saying him as when you jump in, you start to say, I was never hurt! <laughs> 17. Trust me, right? yep. I, I like what I'm gonna do. Roll off the front and dart into the cane. This is just like, ah! There, get her! Sing a mess, you're up. And there I am, crouched over on crutches, bandages, stand up straight, take a deep breath, and smile, 
flip my crutches around and hold them like tonfas. <laughs> yes. And then wail on the closest son of a bitch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a 17 on the die. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's nice. like 26 AC. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I am not using Greeting Fist. Yeah. 12 damage. Yeah. Crack! Oh! <laughs> Staggers backwards into one of the canes. <laughs> Who's the old man now? <laughs> oh, looks dislocated. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch! Eduardo! <laughs> ah! Nice. There's a watchtower. Yes, right. yes. Go for the watchtower. Um, I have two ideas. One, I apparently have drinks. I assume some of it is liquor. I can Molotov it. Yeah. Two, I can sneak up there and try to do it more subtly. One is faster, the other one can go horribly wrong. Well, the best thing about the Molotov is if, even if you miss hit, you can still set the tower on fire. This is true. Yeah. Granted, we don't need property damage at this point. True, but it gets them out of the tower. No, we property <laughs> you never need property damage. I don't I think mean, they'll need watchtower damage. If Slice can take this over, it's going to be set back to it. Whatever you think is more awesome, do that. Yeah. yeah. That'd be the Molotov. Yeah, do, do it. it. Fire damage. Molotov. Do it, do it, do it. Yikes. And we got Okay, so I have two ways. I can just, you know, lunge it in there, or I can go up, throw it in, and shut the door. Freedom is the deal. There's not Having really a working door. plan. It's like, it's yeah. a tower. Yeah. It's got, like, kind of like Struts. a gazebo, basically. Yeah, have, it's like, have you seen the lawn? Oh, no, it's like... Just throw, just throw it up there. Basically, a floor, a half wall, yeah. four pillars on each corner, and then at the top. All right, can I throw them all the top up there? Or at the base, too. Mm. Let's see what that adds up to. Uh, let's see, that is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Nope. Uh, would a D6 help? Put the picture really in. I would, I would re-roll. Yeah. <laughs> 16 on the die. Yeah. The chance to. Oh, alright, uh, 16. Did you remember uh, to add the 22? 22. 22. Alright. Yep. The Molotov up there, it hits the inside of the roof, just oh, rains geez. fire down on them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, there's some damage for that. That tower is clearly is blazing on fire. The guys in it are like trying to climb out and run down. One of them is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> he, jumps. he just sort of jumps off, Does falls onto the, the floor. Actually, uh, burning, man. burning man, burning man, burning man. Thirteen. All right. The guy falls off and lands on the roof. The roof of the distillery. Does not break under him and have him fall into a rack of highly flammable rum. Oh, good. <laughs> Wouldn't they be trying to jump into the beach or something? He was trying to jump out of the tower. It's a farther drop to the beach than to the roof. Okay. <laughs> From the roof. Would you rather drop 10 feet or 30 feet? <laughs> well, one has a big thing of water there. No, it's beach, is water. beach is pretty shallow again. too. He can always jump again. Okay. Beach is pretty shallow too, And man. he doesn't want to be on fire either. Also, just rolling around on the ground is sufficient anyway. Yeah. Right. Okay. Also, man. most people don't think very clearly while they're on fire. Okay. And also, if it's yeah. low tide, I'm actually trying to think of. No, it'd be high tide. I'm trying to remember how tides work. Doesn't matter. Tides very significantly. <laughs> Alright, Bob and Hill. Oh, it's the start of my next turn. Does that mean my uh, stay strong goes away? Yeah. Uh, end of your next turn. This is the All end. Right. Yeah. Is it end of your next turn or start? Well, irrelevant anyway. It gives someone else an AC bonus. Oh, I see. The likelihood of some one of these slavers making an attack during his turn is low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless you try to shoot Psychonauts. Yeah. Or run past everyone. Oh, and my song <laughs> goes, bonus goes away too, right? Yeah, you gotta roll for it. Roll to sustain it. Alright. Now into the wild and wispy sea are many have foul known creatures. But there is a captain who fights them off, and Sterling is his feature. Right, they I heard my name too. What? Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty then. That's uh, still going on. Does it still get plus two? Uh, sure. Yeah. My ears are burning. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the and burning so guy. Is the towel. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, do I see any uh, towers anywhere around? Uh, just the one over there and the four over there. Okay. All right. Can any of them hit me? Uh, the four over there can maybe hit you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, shoot my crossbow at that guy there. Sure. 
Don't mind what I'm doing. So, yeah, I rolled a four yeah. on the die. I'm assuming I'm missing. Probably. Yeah. So I'm uh, just going to use my move action to go inside the warehouse. Sure. Because I already took ten damage. This is so much better when I go first, so I can actually do things like try again. Yes, mm -hmm. I can do it again. I want to say that I try again for uh, something I can find out next. Sure. I'm going to use the guy that's on fire to light my arrow, and then I'm going to shoot it into the watchtower over there by sure. bats. <laughs> I'm annoyed I can't do it now. Two more bats. Actually, shoot bats three. too. Three bats with riders on them come out of that uh, their tower. Uh, is that purple one the friendly bat? Power, yes. Yeah, purple is the friendly bat. Green is the unfriendly bat. Grand Theft Bat. <laughs> Speaking of the unfriendly bats, uh, I will let you guys decide. I will say either I can run all of the bats and Shang and Kopesh, or I can just say Shang and Kopesh are successfully diverting one of them. I'd say diverting one of them. Probably. Yeah, like if you want, I will just like do that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Shank and Gofesh are engaging with one of them and harrying them with little poison arrows as they start dog fighting. They got poison arrows! How did Shank and Gofesh get poison arrows? They stole them from the tower. Yes. That's what the bat riders are using. Yeah. Really glad we FYI. <laughs> Uh, you haven't pointed out, so one of them is going to try and shoot at you. And the other one's going to try and shoot at Psychomass. Uh, that's a miss on Psychomass. That is 20 AC. Oh, yeah, that works. Alright. You take 8 damage, and you gain the vulnerable status, meaning attacks against you have their crit range expanded by 2. Okay. As and you can feel some sort of po poison coursing through, and it's making it kind of sluggish. Okay, and I'm going to use roll with it, so I take 4 sure. damage. Roll in the can sugar candy. I know. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Still better than this! <laughs> oh god, it's in my wounds! <laughs> it's like slave off. Right. Damn slave gas. Uh, it's the one that went after you is going to carry on going after you with a machete. It's an 18 on the die. <laughs> yeah, that crits. Uh, yeah, it does crit. <laughs> That is 16 damage. Uh, Already used what is your wisdom score? Uh, zero. Like 10. Nice. <laughs> yeah. This will be fun. Going down. <laughs> Should have saved my roll with it. <laughs> well, you want to be able to save it. You actually take 17 points of damage Total? as he runs up to you okay. with uh, his machete, swings it at you a couple of times. You're sort of hopping back to get away from him. As you hop back, your foot goes clank. On something, and a bear trap snaps over your leg. Oh, oh. god. <laughs> I'm the so slavers sorry. have the trapster ability. Uh, if their natural uh, attack roll is uh, higher than your wisdom trapsies. score, they successfully maneuvered you into a trap. Uh, okay. oh, I'm so sorry, I don't have a uh, concentration. I don't, no, I, don't, I didn't take the trap thing. Oh. We're gonna wish I didn't find out but about I that bear trap. Yeah, keep going. I wonder if you can make like, brass knuckles so of bear traps. You've been playing too much Fallout. Two of them are going to go on the Sangamas. But it wouldn't be awesome. Like, mm -hmm. Is that range? Uh, no, they're, they have machines. <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to beat up an like old man? So they down. are. You're swinging crutches at them with uncanny <laughs> skill. <laughs> I'll whoop your ass, boys. There's 20 hit your AC. Yeah. What is your wisdom score? My wisdom 16. 16? Okay. So they're both going to get you to go into crap. Oh! So are we, like, stuck in them? So I thought so. we one got a 19 on the die, one got a 12 on the die. Both hit. Okay. I thought it was if the, the natural was over there with the score. Because his 16 yeah. would have been so, so 17 damage. Oh yeah, he, damage. he does take a 12. You take 19 points of damage, Ooh. as one of them cuts you across the chest with a machete. The other one kicks you in the back, and you uh, stumble forward and step on what is basically a rake with a nail in it. Oh god. <laughs> Which just swings up and hammers his bike into your shoulders. Uh, Such a uh, <laughs> yep. Wow. Why do you have these lying around the field? I'm, I'm, glad, you know? I'm glad you thought of that. <laughs> this is why they're not having the slaves work, because they booby trapped the island, because they thought someone was going to invade them. Should have been at the house. <laughs> Uh, so basically, money. everyone's medical uh, expenses are coming out of Edwards or Eduardo's. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is going to 
make his way because he saw the performance coming over into that place. Go after you, Eduardo. At least you don't get traps. He is 16 AC. Wait, Eduardo or he misses? Or no, no, for okay. Oh wait, no, he just hits. All right, he doesn't get the trap ability though, so he just cuts it across the arm for eight damage with machete. Mm -hmm. And two of them are going to go for you, Sterling Captain, making yourself an obvious target. Yep, that's fine. Uh, what is your wisdom score? My wisdom score is twelve. All right, one of them's going to trap you. And uh, does 28 your AC? Yes. Both hit you, one turn. You take 18 points of damage. Okay. As one of them uh, pushes you backwards, you hit one of the sugar canes, it shakes, and a hornet's nest falls on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That wasn't right. a trap, they just lucked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, the watchtowers are up. Okay, who's in view of a watchtower? Uh, everyone except Robin and Eduardo. So you can roll an attack against yourself at plus eight versus your AC. Oh, yes. Actually, sorry, plus six because you oh, have cover from the pit. Lovely. Okay. Yes. I got a check natural <laughs> seventeen. That you crit I, yourself. Nice. I got fifteen. Well, I it's gonna hit, but I'm actually gonna use spinning willow style to okay. save against it. Could you let and us spend, I spend a key points on this to make it succeed? I'm out. So. I take only half damage. Okay. So you will only take eight damage from this. Yes. Because there are stuff that's littered around you. You crit yourself? Uh, no, 17. I got a 17 on the die, so. But Just an automatic hit. No, this one. Oh. <laughs> I thought you had rolled that, and that's why you were complaining. No, I got a 17 on the die, which is, <laughs> like, I'm not going to roll that well on my own turn. Uh, you take 16 points of damage. Double not roll. Um, however, however, as that... You know, nails there and goes, um, something, which, which tower, Shotter? Uh, these four over here are the ah. ones that are actually making shots in. Well, actually, coincidentally, right after she got pegged with the arrow, one of the supports just happened to, uh, to, to buckle the piece of the roof collapsed in on him and impaled him. So he's actually now taking, uh, ongoing five, five damage. <laughs> Jerk. Is it a gut shot? Is it right in the stomach? <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> uh, spelling, what did you get? Uh, I rolled a 5 on the dice, which does not hit my AC 16. I rolled a 9 on the dice, so my AC 15, I think it hits. It ties. Yeah, plus 6. Yeah. So, you take 16 damage. Oh, God, I'm at 1 HP. By the way, 16 is over half my AC. Okay. <laughs> You may want to perhaps not be in light of sight of towers. That's exactly where uh, that's going. <laughs> so, so you're up. Okay. Uh, so directly under the How many the people tower? are relatively hurt? Let me just ask that question real quick. Very. Very. I am real hurt this time. Right, let's find out how many HP. people I can help out here. Crap. That is one person. <laughs> so I rolled a two on the D6. Yes. All right. So 17 out of 44. Thankfully, there is no escalation yet. Wait, does that mean I can't use this? I have no, no I cannot use it. Crap! Never mind! <laughs> Alright. Uh, look, yeah, uh, Alright. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna tell you to make a basic tactical strike. Or, so yeah, just make an attack. For free. Ha! <laughs> Crit! Nice. So, calculate that damage up. And double? Oh, I get hit. Yep. I if, get it, hit. if it's crit, yeah, it does double damage. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I, I can't math today. One second. That's alright, everyone has those days. Uh, 15. Will 13 AC hit anybody? 13 AC? No. Oh, wait, do I get the. I still get the plus 2, right? Yeah. 15. 15? No. The slaver's AC is 19. Here is. Sorry. Uh, you have felled one of them. This guy. That's the one that you stabbed repeatedly, Eli. Yeah. Uh, Crit! That's the guy yes. that was showing you around yeah. the house. Ah. You bastard! In two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> How articulate for a uh, slaver. And two of gypsy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I hit with a crit. And, wow, that was weird. Uh, 11, 22 damage okay. to the guy closest to in front of me. And then, I'm gonna gain my thing. I that is can't. that is my turn. Betty. Uh, uh, uh. All right. First thing is standard action to gain concentration. Yeah. Basically, so she's first thing she's gonna actually before she does that she's going to standard action remove arrow from butt. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> she's going to uh, try and get move over this way. It's gonna put her actually. That's gonna put her in. Uh, that's how it's disabled. Yeah, but it's gonna put her within range of the guys who jumped out of it, isn't it? Uh, th they're dead. Oh, okay. They're no well, they, they, yeah, she's gonna go over there. They're on fire or broke their legs falling out of the tower. She's gonna go uh, over 
over there trying to make sure that the towers can't can't see her. She's gonna be in line of bats, but we'll cross that bridge when we arrive at it. Bats are hard to avoid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And she's going to from her new hidey spot. And actually, I would like to roll a stealth check if there's any uh, way of. Yeah. Getting some actual hiding, hiding is going on there. Maybe plus five because there's massive chaos going on. Over uh, there. Plus presumably dexterity. Yep. Uh, so twenty one. Right. And she's going to you know stop survey the battle and uh, actually she'll also relay any observations she has to their captain so that he uh, yeah. can yeah, use I'm his tactical go into mind and take a standard action to gain. Uh, one thing that you spot immediately is if any of you decide to drop prone mm -hmm. in the tall grass, uh, the watchtowers will not be able to shoot at you, but the slavers will get a bonus to hit you. It's up to you if you want to do that. If you want to, you have to get a Shank and Kopesh are on Sex for me either way. <laughs> Still. Uh, Shank and Kopesh are spiraling around above. Uh, Shank gets a good shot off on one of the goblins on the other bat. It's like plummets off. <laughs> Spirals into the shirt game and impales himself on one of them. Yeah. <laughs> what? Hey, Brian, you're up. So, Somehow before you do anything, what is yeah. it uh, this, is gonna, this might annoy Trevor, but I tell her to get your head in the game! Right? And then you get to spend a recovery for free. Yay! Add, add three to it. Okay. Because it's a line from High School Musical. I forgot what dice I rolled. <laughs> Uh, she gets it. So. See? Now that's gonna be stuck in my head. So See? No, that's why I figured it would do somebody. What roll for recovery? I don't remember. Uh, rogue is d8. I think. Uh, do you get two? Your, number of yeah. them equal to your level. Do you get your sneak attack? Oh, I get two d8s. Any yeah. on any attack you make? Uh, as, uh, as long as someone's engaged with them as well. <laughs> or or plus. you otherwise surprised. Yeah, because uh, plus three. Eight. I you can I roll uh, crap. Okay. You can uh, make a. I can use my brilliant comeback and have you uh, make a free uh, basic attack with a free action. I heard of you. Uh, 17 out of 44. Might want to. Especially if you get sneak attack on that. Because I also have ones that'll help negate damage or add a lot more damage than that. However. Do we think it'd be more valuable really for her to make sure. a it's just, it's yeah. attack on any attack? I think I'll be okay. Well then yeah, let's use brilliant combat. Actually, well, mm, 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 mm. I'll do it okay. because so you the towers themselves do 16. Yeah. I recommend yeah. using it against uh, the guy engaged with Sterling. So you can take Yeah. Or the one engaged with Saigon. Either way. Yay. Okay, so... Sterling. Yeah. Covering your butt. Stabbing you in the back. 19. <laughs> yeah. right. it's a oh, 19. it's a natural 19? Oh, yeah. And I get to keep my yes. So I guess because you're the one who rolls the attack on so. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I hit that. And yeah, this is just 1D, yeah. But, uh, 24 damage. Nice. <laughs> on that guy. Uh, you cut some guy's head off. <laughs> what the he knife? Was a, he was a tent. He rallied like three of the other slavers together into like a little hunting party and he just cut his head off. Yeah. And the other three were like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> run off into the cave. Wait, that's, that's once per round. Sneak attack? Yeah. So I already used it, so I can't. It's a new round though. Oh. Because okay. it's a new turn. Okay. Anybody I'm done? Oh. Yes. Single bonus. Pick up the rake. It's currently in my face. That was my turn. Um, really, comeback is like when they spend a recovery, they make an attack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. You actually still have the standard action. Yeah, I was gonna say she gets a, That was a free so, attack. Yeah. You can attack again. Yeah. You just won't get sneak attack again. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. It's okay. I probably want to hide anyway. Sure. Yeah. Um, I don't want to go prone. Can I just try to stealth? You, you can just hide, yeah. yeah. You if you successfully hide, you also don't get targeted. It's just you have to spend your action to make the roll to do it that way. Oh, that's fine. And rally is a standard, right? Correct. Okay, and stealthing is a standard. Correct. If you do want to rally again, you have to make a check. Yeah. yeah that's if fine. stealthing was a standard, I couldn't stealth on my turn if I standard to get my focus. I'm a stealth. So you're not stealth, but you are out of line of sight. Eight. Okay. Ah. Plus, even. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's angle eyes. All right. Pat yourself up! Grab the rake from my face. It actually got marks. Interrupt. You only get one interrupt. Uh, you round. Yeah. He, but she, no, I did until yeah. his turn comes around oh. again. It oh, doesn't I see. come back. Oh, I see. Is it one per round or is it as many command points as I have? Because I saw no limitation on that. 
Well, the are up, actually. Well, yeah, no, but the thing is, that shouldn't be a thing because I would be able, wouldn't be able to keep, there would be no point in keeping my, uh, my concentration if I couldn't then use another. I asked you to keep those points. She was gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was having I only had two. I only had two. So, may as well spend the last one. Okay, so we we'll make it more difficult then. Sorry, I just need yeah. to send you to your Take out the floor. Yeah, you use one interrupt action when it's not your turn. You can't use another one until the end of your next turn. Uh, okay. Do you have something that lets you I guess that means I can use my comic would be a comic Okay, yeah. uh, let's yeah. that. Do you have something that allows then someone to read? Then I'm going to spend uh, Battle yeah, Captain to, to do that, oh, and sure. you get to rally. Yeah, that, that's why Battle Captain's a thing. <laughs> sure. Okay. I thought that was... Okay, I thought that meant basically just don't spend that command point. Yeah, it just it means yeah that you can do it more than once. Okay, so I get a free recovery. Yes. Yeah. Come on, yes. I know. Eleven. Oh, uh, something you may not know. Plus three. Page. You can choose to declare that you're taking average rolls for your recoveries rather than rolling them. Uh, if you do that, specify and it becomes that for the rest of the game basically. Like be consistent with it. But other than that, yeah, you can do either one. Yep. Swing around the rake and just whack a guy across head with it. Also, am I technically engaged with more people than just this guy? Why do you ask? Because I have an attack that if I do an even hit, I do 1d6 damage to everyone I'm engaged with. You are engaged with other things which are not functionally combative. Okay, so. then never mind. Yeah. Although you could probably maneuver such that you were engaged with two of them. Guys are probably. Yeah. Oh well, 25 to AC. 25, yeah. <laughs> Well damage. Well, oh, <laughs> you hit him right in the gut. Is that right? Ah! Oh. Nope. It's wild though. Okay. There's a guy in fire. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna light my arrow on fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> grim, but okay. Are you gonna shoot one of these towers? I'm gonna aim for this. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay. You get an 18 on the die? Yeah. yeah. You hit. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. All right, that is uh, five damage. Okay. <laughs> you hit uh, the guy uh, working that particular tower in the <laughs> Probably actually right in the stomach. Ah! Why? It's a flaming arrow. <laughs> yeah. That's true, it's damage. a flaming arrow. Uh, can you roll me a d4? And you do that much ongoing. Three. <laughs> Uh, is he the same one who's already taking the ongoing five? Uh, yes, actually. No, I just keep happening. It's like me. Rub it All right, you got a guy in your face. Well, I'm still going to continue my song. In the West, where there's people with deadly wounds and disease and famine to bear, there's a doc who fights with his gypsy spells. And there's a... He... He fights with his fists and he fights with his feet and his name is one of great fame. And Sango Mass is his name. Yes, Sango Mass is his name. Uh, I was only going to give you plus two for that section of mumble story <laughs> yeah. it, but you saved it, so I'll yeah, give you three. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, eight, so I'm going to add a d6 to that. Come on. Is <laughs> I, I, I scarcely <laughs> think I've ever seen a die more cocks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So and nine plus one. Is twelve? Yeah. So it recharge is no, it's sustained. Alright, and let's see if I get nope. no elfin yet. No. Alright, so uh, I'm just gonna attack the guy in front of me with a bit of steward. He's just like Why won't you shut up? <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, so that is 18. Oh. Yeah, I had your own song. Uh, yeah, so 19 versus 18. Exactly what you need. Right. As uh, helps to remind you as you just bought a phone. Is there a bonus you can throw in there somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so that is a 11 damage. Whack. Stab. Ah! And can I sort of move the fight towards this pillar here? Oh, uh, yeah, you can roll me a disengage check. Oh, a disengage? I can't, like, sort of duck and weave my way. Uh, that, not that, 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 not is... that much distance. Okay, but you could uh, roll disengage or just provoke if you want to go automatically. Yeah, I'll try and disengage. 
Now, right. you try to sort of position over there, he hooks your foot. Uh, okay. Like, Bat <laughs> Bat Riders. <laughs> uh, Bat Riders. Can't see me. Correct. Right. I think this is going to be Sangobas and Sterling are going to get shot at. Actually, this oh, one's yeah, going to fly down that was, uh, you, natural because it's noticed that you evade arrows, and it's actually just going to try to have the bat bite you. <laughs> Bloody fangs! Uh, wait, one last thing. Uh, I got a natural odd roll, so one person gets uh, nine or six temp points. Good. Yeah. How much are you at? He's he's definitely further up. I'm good. Okay. In health. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming good. eleven does not hit you. Nope. Right. I'm rocking on twenty AC. But the bat rider got a natural two to five on his roll, so he automatically pops three and flies away from you. Oh, I'm at eighteen. I get some the ones. Okay. okay, he's going to shoot an arrow like at his Sterling. That is going to die. die. He's going to die. I believe he's gone. Sterling, you just stop getting clean on the guy. Sterling? Okay, so eight yeah. damage. Sorry. Sure. You are okay. vulnererable. Say none. Okay, no, eight to none. You have to save it. Oh, yeah. I say it. Five. Yep. Thirteen, yeah. One of the bat riders tried to do a little flyby and try and like pick you up, but you're like, ah, no, <laughs> no picking me up. <laughs> you're not your pet. <laughs> Can we like uh, single, like pick me up? Oh, that's before you go, go. Oh, sorry. Pick me up, drop me somewhere. What's your wisdom for? Uh, eight. <laughs> Did, he, did they put traps in the warehouse? Yes. <laughs> uh, 13. Actually, I'm going to say since you destroyed this warehouse, the traps in here aren't functional, so you just take it. Okay. There's no trap for him to maneuver you into because they already fell down. There's just wooden shrapnel. If you're I am curious, at 10 health. The one that was going to hit you was a sack of flour on a rope that swings down and hits you in the face. <laughs> nice. So I'm alone. <laughs> They're, they're all comical, like the ability is based on a kobold ability. <laughs> I, I took away the more ridiculous ones, like a knife springs out at crotch heights. <laughs> Specifically crotch heights. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> Sterling, you got a melee guy in your face. 20 AC? Yep. The wisdom of glory is... Uh, 12 or 1. Uh -huh. Alright, maybe going down. That is 10 damage. As uh, he takes a swing at you, you go to move away from him and sort of jog off into the cane. Yep. You hit a tripwire and fa fall face first into a bag that's open and full of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> first wow. bees and then snakes. Wow. You have to like think it's animal life now. Uh, the second boss, there is actually one of these guys is going to go try and investigate over here. Try and figure out where you guys are. Try and see if you can uh, He does not spot me, though. Uh, he spots Betty. Yeah. But uh, Sterling, he's actually moving past him. You can choose to intercept him and get in his face, at which point he would attack you. Or he will go around you and try and attack me. Pardon? Uh, one of the slavers is moving around near you, yep. but not provoking. Yep. You can choose to intercept him, in which case he will attack you, or he will go around you and attack me. I will not intercept because I have 9 HP. Yeah. Fair. Fair enough. <laughs> I have 14. Hey. A little bit more. Ah. Crits. Oh, son of a butt <laughs> I'm going down, guys. And Max on the trap down. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. You take 21 damage. Oh, this is some wily e. Coyote <laughs> shit. <laughs> As actually, he walks up, cuts you with his machete, then hits his elbow on a board on the side of this distillery. He so goes ahead, swings out, and hits you in the face. <laughs> okay, no. Yeah. Luck luckily, I will have an easy way of gaining command points, and I can pick you up in your turn. Last one is going to go over here. Oh, no. <laughs> Make sure you grab and her. He's going to hit you for eight damage, but no trap. And if I pick you up, I mean, I tell you, get up! Stop sleeping on the job! And then you get up. Just imagine if you decided to fight 25 of these guys. Yes. <laughs> Watchtowers. All right. Two of you are visible to Watchtowers. So you two oh, each oh, roll me. Oh, oh, sorry. A thing. Ah. Uh, negate damage once per day. You avoid damage from monsters multiple attacks or multiple attacks from moves, blah, blah, blah. But it's a single attack at once. Okay, cool. So basically, Betty manages to see what's coming and duck and avoid the. <laughs> You duck the machete as he like swings it. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. You actually, he goes to swing the machete. 
you spot oh, wait. the trap door in the wall. Oh, shit. And hit it the other way and yeah. just knock his arm so he doesn't get the shot out. Sounds like fun. Um, remember I quit on myself? <laughs> <laughs> and instead of four towers, eh? Uh, I crit failed on myself. Uh, 16 damage for you. And I'm, I'm, for you. I'm down. All right. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. That's just how that goes. Sterling, your turn. Right. <laughs> Can't save. Right. It's a hard save. What is that? 15? 15. Nope. <laughs> 16 or better. Strike one. Betty, you're up. Alright, well, Beatrice is understandably a little ticked off. Uh, well, thankfully, actually. Um, Wait. So I get to use Wait. my... I'm using this to add a d6. <laughs> sure. Yeah, because... Don't bother rolling, I think yeah. it's 16. Yeah. yeah, it's 16 is what you need. Wait, can I pick myself up? Um, to remember what that does. Off hands. But that's Cause... just on a 20. Crit. Yes. Does it have to be an actual 20? I think so. Because there's no modifiers to this. Yeah, it just hit. If I... There's a thing. There's a thing. I remember it's not like the way it works battle. in D&D. Okay. I mean, you don't get a 20. Fair enough. Uh, 16 plus, use a recovery, return to consciousness. Heal a number of points equal to your recovery. Uh, tell everyone what form of courage, willpower, stubbornness, or quest brought you back from the brink. However, that's all you can do in your turn. Nat 20 is where you spend the recovery and still get a turn. Ah, oh, nice. 13th age is a lot more generous about getting your ass back out. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty nice. What brought you back? Well, I, I, when, as I was but falling, I had a flash, like my life flash before my eyes, and I saw just like all the punishment all my brethren got as slaves, and I'm like, no, we must complete this job. And I think myself, up. do you then See, rip the arrow? The out? awesome thing about the drive system in 13 days, combined with that, is when you recover from being unconscious, you almost always get electronic. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> <Nice>. Neutralized. <laughs> Good job. That's a crap roll. Yeah. All right. So and which guy am I fighting with? Uh, you don't know his name. Damn it! <laughs> it's not the guy I seduced? I'll, tell you what. I'll give you a save on it. Oh, 19. It is the guy you seduced. <laughs> is he like, like why did you do this? We could have been something. <laughs> Join me and we can still be something. <laughs> On your turn, I will let you make a charisma check. Turn. Yes. <laughs> Charm. Be interested, understandably, uh, a little, you know, but actually, as to conveniently, when she actually ducked in the, the shock up, there was actually a second shot in there, and it was delayed on its release, but it, uh, it actually releases, releases now, whether or not it hits them. Or, yeah, well. 15 posts, so 16. Are we getting any bonuses from you right now? Yes. Uh, was it a plus, plus one? Plus one? Uh, then uh, 17 verse... Oh, all my things are verse... Mental, uh, yeah, mental defense. That is? Yes, excellent. So he takes 1d6 plus wisdom, which is 3 damage. Oh, you failed me last time. <laughs> oh, he takes 4. He takes 4 damage, which isn't, which isn't a lot. You spin the board around, it cracks me in the elbow. <laughs> Funny bone. Uh, and I'm actually going to use my. That is kind of my. I think I'm going to use my standard action to get my concentration back because I can do more damage if he hits to him. If he hits me, then I can uh, get attack him myself. Escalate to two. Maybe I am. Hidden in the cane. You can sneak attack somebody. You can actually get around to this guy that's fighting Betty and sneak attack. Him. Oh, or you can attack one of the guys fighting Sterling and Sangamon. I don't want to get hit, but I'm okay. Shoot a bat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll actually tell you, uh, bats, while flying, have resist range damage 16 plus. Can I launch myself at them? Uh, do you already dispense one? What? It's, well, once per battle, yeah. yeah. Oh. You could have. I, uh, 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 okay. <laughs> I am presently You can also go and try and disable those watchtowers. Yeah, I'd rather do the watchtower thing. Do I still have to save from weekend? Point damage to fall. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do I still have to save from weekend? Uh, vulnerable, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I want to go to the watchtower. And I don't know. Is there a way for me to drag a guy off? Uh, possibly, yeah. You have like a rope and a grappling hook or something. I want to always have a grappling hook. <laughs> sure. You are made it. <laughs> I like swinging on things. Give me a uh, dexterity. Okay. That'll be 21. 21? Oh, yeah. 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 Actually, you pull a guy out of this tower, we'll have a scream. Off the top. <laughs> <laughs>
like, plummets into the sugar cane below, which point you just like stomp on his face repeatedly. <laughs> yes. He is down. Sango Master. Go elf power! Damn it! <laughs> Stupid elf blood. <laughs> Stupid elven blood. Unreliable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hell yeah! Nice. Your punching is pretty reliable, though. <laughs> <laughs> you do have two guys in your face. Oh, yep. You got two fists on your face. So, hands. I take the two crutches and the right, hold them together as one, and just swing it like a bat at one dude. <laughs> 17 damage, <laughs> and my crit range is expanded. That guy's staggered. Eduardo. You're up on the roof. I have a few choices. Yep. I could shoot at one of the bats, but they get a 16 plus resistance. Yep. You can't grapple a bat. Uh, who feels like they're in the most trouble? Can't kind of right hand raise hands. Either I... me or... The dude who nearly died. I would just take yeah. out, like, a bat or a uh, tower. Is... Not nearly died, it did go down. Yeah, yeah. so there's there's a guy that's, that's engaged with him. I'd there are two a... guys engaged with both. Mm. There's a little scrum over there. I'd right? still take out a bat or a tower. They just keep... Going should I it. try for a tower or should I try for bats? Uh, bats are harder to hit with range damage. Yeah, don't do bad. Yeah. Do tower because that's more reliable. I think. Up to you though. Feel free. Right there. Another tower. Another right. fire arrow. Okay. Archery. <laughs> nice. Okay, 14 on the die plus 4 is 18. Oh. one now. Uh, so, 14, if 15... The inside, stop touching. This is 19. Then right it's 21. Here. Yeah. Cut it. Yeah, right here. Okay. Uh, that is 4, 5, 6 damage, okay. and 1 ongoing. Changes to a 1, by the way. Alright. Love it, it. Alright. Uh, I'm wondering if I should continue the song or try to seduce him first. <laughs> Up to you. Alright. <laughs> Seduce him to with the out. song. Your, your, your side is amazing. Join us. If you make your song lyrics seductive, <laughs> I will allow you to do it as a single role. Very white, <laughs> very white, very white, very white. <laughs> Just <laughs> change tone entirely. <laughs> You're bringing sexy back. <laughs> yes. A beautiful girl who's smart and brave, who can uh, calculate notes without. Shame, she's something in. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Mine was better. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, tr I'm trying. Well, to be fair. Okay. Okay. To be fair. To be fair, this is hard. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like freestyle rap. <laughs> really hard to make up lyrics on the She's spot. a badass mother <laughs> without any other who can really be. Is a badass mother without any other, and Betty is her name. Yes, Betty is her name. Our favorite talk is surround. I'm sorry. <laughs> really, uh, really inspired. Okay, so that's still going on, and I say, come join us. You know, be a member of the crew. Leave the life of slavery. We can be together. <laughs> You wouldn't be faithful. <laughs> Join he didn't my suggest hero. he would. <laughs> he just said they'd be together. He didn't say there wouldn't be anyone else involved. <laughs> you didn't cruise with Jack. All right. Uh, okay, that yeah, is a applies, 14. Obviously. So uh, 18. 18. Yeah. It's his mental effect. <laughs> All right. Yeah. He's he gives you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. All right. <laughs> Now, uh, I never. I hated this place anyway. <laughs> okay, you want me take to take down that tower with together? Yes. Right. <laughs> yes, you would like to. Do that. All right. So uh, we'll do it from the inside, like obviously. Last <laughs> 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 All right. Pet riders. Pet and while it's collapsing, do you have like a oh, dramatic kiss? Oh, actually, uh, can I uh, roll for if I get As another the other uh, thing burning in the background? <laughs> no. Hey, the bats. I'm gonna try and bite you. Come at me, bro! Punch him in the face. 13 AC, I'm guessing no. Nope. Alright. You gotta beat 19. Both miss. One of them automatically gets to disengage for free, though. The other one does not. As you have managed to grab one of the bats. <laughs> 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 swing it yeah. into the guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna climb up in the rafter and start trying to give me the bolts free. <laughs> oh my god, if I could use the bat as an improvised weapon next turn. <laughs> grab him and swing him. You're conscious again, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> one, one on each of you. Wait, did you stand up from prone? Are you still prone? Terribly at this back. 21 AC on you, Sangamas? Yep. 
Oh, eight damage? That's not going to be your uh, not wisdom, though. He doesn't manage to uh, kick you into a hidden bellows that blows choking dust in your face. <laughs> uh, last one, all of you. Ah. 16 on the die. Are they able to see me? This guy's standing right oh, in front of you. Yeah, he can totally hear you. I thought you were talking about the tower. Oh, yeah, I'm actually. <laughs> Sorry. How did you do? Uh, 16 oh. on the die, which I think yeah, that's gonna beat beats me. your wisdom score, too. Uh, it's a natural even. Delightful. So that is 12 damage. Okay, I'm still standing, but also he gets to say, I get to roll it. So actually, as he, he moves toward me, I managed to move out of the way. enough to sort of get him in the pat, just like where like the burning tower was sort of starting to come down, and some of it collapses towards him. Uh, er, uh, 19 verse metal defense. Oh, yeah. So yeah, so he's going to get 3d6 plus 3. Nice. <laughs> what even? So six. What even? <laughs> Wow. Uh, he's a little trip ones. <laughs> no, two ones and a three. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be eight. He takes eight uh, damage. That is, like, one of my hardest hitting... You, meanwhile, take 12 damage. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, uh, me at two. He actually uh, kicks something in the dirt up into your face, and it appears to be, like, a wineskin full of acid. <laughs> face full of acid. <laughs> <laughs> the towers! Uh, only you two are in line of them. Uh, two of them can shoot you. One of them is a bit concerned because the bolts are being removed from his. So you're just getting attacked by am two towers. Am I towers. in line too? Uh, or am I like? Oh yeah, you're not hitting anymore. Yeah. So yeah, you are. So you three, roll against yourselves. Yeah. Don't I'm... kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Am I one of them? Yep. Damn. Fourteen. Ugh. I got hit. Five. Uh huh. Twelve. Did you get hit? No. <laughs> Whoever it was that actually rolled decently uh, it takes eight damage. Pop, pop. Ah. What's the save to Valley again? Valley, it's a normal save. Okay, and then it, 11 or better. And it kicks it up. I think so. Yeah. If you fail, you can still take your action. Your yes. Uh, if you fail, it does not waste your action. Oh, that's good. Sterling, it's your turn. Okie dokie. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going to slash a guy in the face. There. Rerolling. Aww. Uh, the save doesn't get harder with multiple times. Okay. It's, it's just always 11 or better. 21 versus AC? Oh, yeah. Actually, can I get another luck point for, uh... Actually, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God! Oh, that one's oh, that one's from, uh, All right, that's 12, uh, damage. Okay. And I gain one command point. I'm rolling decently and well. Uh, Which is unfortunate. Uh, so bad. Uh, who's really hurt? Let me determine. I'm down to 2 HP. Okay. The fire on the distillery is spreading. Of course it is. It's gonna blow up and I'm standing right beside it. <laughs> it's gonna blow up. Actually, a number of uh, the slavers who are I apologize are now this to all you what else. Trying to put it out because they don't particularly want the distillery exploding. <laughs> I apologize I'm, now to all the wood elves, but please decrease the escalation by one and you get to heal with a, a recovery. Wait, who's you? You. That'd be you. You is me? Okay. Yes. <laughs> right. The person who mentioned, I am the most hurt. What would, uh, what would the explosion be like? A <laughs> lot. Level <laughs> like <laughs> everyone, or...? It's worth noting, like, it's barrels of rum. They wouldn't explode. They would just start a really big fire. Okay. Like, if if you stood next to the highly hot burning building would hurt. So. And if you waited long enough, the bottles of rum would start exploding from just steam building up. <laughs> All right, so I'm but like, self on at that point, you'd have died from the fire before that became a concern. Yeah. Note to self, on turn, move away from building. Okay, uh, so it's your oh. level times your recovery die plus your constitution. Yeah, it's a number of dice will be your level. Okay. Can I move into position right now? Oh, uh, yeah, you'd have to disengage from these guys, but you could have a little bit of So I'm going to recover by 7. Do I get any bonuses because nope. it was you who did? Okay. Yay! I'm going to hold 9 HP. That's better than 2! <laughs> much. Anything else, really? You going to try the disengage? I did try. I failed. Um, Ready, you're off. Alright. <laughs> roll your D6. I'm going to roll my D6 down. Uh, let's use the paleo dice. Logic. And it rolls a 4, naturally. <laughs> it fails both directions. Exactly. It just doesn't like you. <laughs> Clearly, this is a thing. Um, and recovery is standard action, right? Correct. You haven't yet gotten to the part where you get to do, to do it for free. free. Quick action. Do you want to recover again? You've got an uh, interrupt action burn in the hollow of his pocket. <laughs> uh, what is, uh, but if you do that, you're not going to be able to help anybody else out today. with it. Um, well, I've got nine, which is more than some people have. That's one health. I have I'm one more health. Oh, good. 
elf. I'm You're fine, yeah, I don't care. You. I'm at elf. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah, do it. So I'm going to uh, just not stand right beside the building. <laughs> I, I but you want to help put it out. But instead of moving. Uh, oh, right, just engage. Yep. Wrap it all. Unless you want to Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just gonna do. Oh, well, he hits me. You could regain focus. And then, and then provoke. provoke. Yeah, that's actually a really. <laughs> it's an interesting ploy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if, I, if I provoke him, though, will I still get to move away or am I gonna get stopped? Only uh, if he provoking doesn't. Provoking automatically moves away, yeah. Excellent. Then I am going to okay. regain my focus and uh, provoke. If he hits me, he hits me. Uh, yeah, he hits you. <laughs> yeah, and he is going. And was a natural even or natural off? Natural even. Okay. First, I roll my my attack. Uh, twelve. That's gonna hit him, right? So seventeen. Yeah, metal defense. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nineteen. Or eighteen. But yeah, anyway, he's gonna hit him. All right, let's not suck this time, okay, guys? Okay, that's that's that's. Not awful. Uh, six, eight, nine, uh, twelve. Twelve damage. And she's just gonna... She's you take gonna, eight. I take uh, eight. From the attack. From the attack. Awesome. So I have one HP! One HP is not zero HP. <laughs> and I'm staring off towards... Rally. That's, that's You're gonna like run under this honey? Yeah, I'm gonna... Be like, okay. Betty, make a save to see if you can rally. There's a um, beach with a bunch of tables and chairs, like bottles, half empty bottles of rum, a couple of them kicking around. I rolled an eight. No. Although, I can, can I spend this to yeah. roll it? Yeah, yeah. d6. Or d6, it, I guess. and Because uh, I just need to get an 11 or better, right? Yep. Well, that's, that's only 50 50. I've got a better chance yeah. if I re roll Rallying this. Rallying standard. Oh, you're doing yeah, the thing. Yeah, he's doing oh, yeah. the thing. Uh, it's 50 50 if I roll this. I'm Basically, it's 50 50 if I roll that, actually. So, uh, I guess d6 it is. Oh! Hey! Thank the gods. Okay, you are my favorite d6 now. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to recover. So, yeah, so I get to recover. So Delightful. The best part is you can't tell the d6 from the other purple one that keeps rolling. This one gets one. to go in the shame pile, so. That's a big shame pile. They're, they're twins. There's a good twin and an evil twin. <laughs> oh, yeah. shame pile to you as well. <laughs> my purple d20s are like that. One of these crits all the time. <laughs> The other one is just a normal die. Unfortunately, they're identical. <laughs> Alright, well, at least I get 4 HP, which is better than nothing. I'm just gonna, yeah, hide over in that, uh, cause she's presently armed with a clipboard. She's not any help to it. Technically, you have an iPhone belt, cause you're a sailor. All yeah. sailors have a like, somewhere. <laughs> but what she's got drawn is a clipboard. <laughs> Maybe they have. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, you're over by the towers. Yeah, yeah. I want to drag another guy off. I will say those bats are looking over at the factory, mucking with their house, <laughs> with some annoyance. You can also hear a squeaking coming from inside. There's yeah. one other bat. Oh. Apparently does not currently have a rider. Can I Do get it. on it? Hand <laughs> I'm not small enough. Do it. Get on it, fly totally over to me, do. pick me up, and then I'll shoot while you drive. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's it can a, carry both of it, us. It can carry two small people or one medium person. Yeah. Okay. So I can climb up, right? Can it carry the other person? Okay, I'll climb up. What do I see? What do I want? Climbing up there? Yeah. You see there's two. The main bulk of the tower is just the open pagoda thing that has several little holes that go down okay. with posts horizontally. That there's a bat hanging on one of them, flapping around, kind of annoyed. Okay. And there's a goblin below, like, trying to hook it to get it to come down so he can try and start flying around, but it seems highly reluctant to go out into the uh, loud noises keep coming, and <laughs> there's all the fire. <laughs> Great. So, <laughs> so it's the timid one. And then on top of that, there are the four little posts, which are further extended up, which have people on them. Two of them are now empty. The other two have guys with little short bows on them. They are looking at you with some annoyance. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, can they even see underneath? There is a door into the tower there. You could run into the tower if you want. What would it take to get the bat? <laughs> uh, if you wanted to get onto the bat, like ignoring the guy, little goblin guy trying to get on it, I would just say it's a dex check. Some sort of acrobatics kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I'm well acquainted with heights. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it is a tall tower. <laughs> And there's flying involved. Yep. So, uh, I'm gonna try to get all the bats. Why not? <laughs> Take me away! You got a re-roll? Um, 14. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, planning its little alony hand. Wings around too much. Uh, you then, still got a standard action. Do you have a oh, really? Yep. Awesome. You can try again. Here's my intro deck. Maybe already. 
Yeah, sorry. Thank you. you I appreciate it. We need our team alive. That's just the way it is. Yeah, I, I do want to get away. <laughs> <laughs> but I just get on him and then... You would get on him and start flying, but you wouldn't do that. Okay, so 10 plus... 18. 18? Yes. Yeah. Also here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on a bat. You have discovered bat. <laughs> yes. We'll move you from the map. Unlocked. And um, another friendly bat token. Uh, by the way, sorry, I would like to apologize. I read. I love like that. Power earlier. It was to when an enemy misses you or when an enemy All my other enemy ones are when I hit me. So. Uh. I got that mixed up. I apologize. However, particularly if one guy hit me, the other one missed me. So, I guess somebody would have got it anyway, but... Somebody would have got stabbed. All right, take so the mouse. So I apologize. Spinning kick! To whoever is most hurt. Sure. One of them is very hurt. It is going to be a miss, but I'm going to spend a key to up... There's a luck point next to you. You could spend... <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to use my uh, deadly secret power. Sure. I'm going to spend one key to up that to a six, so it's a natural, even miss. Okay. Which I then spend another key power for temple weapon. No, uh, it's not a key use. I turn a natural, even miss into a hit. Cool. Oh, yeah, temple weapon master. Well. Yeah. As long as you're using a weapon associated with your fighting style. In this case, crutches. Yeah. <laughs> Anything improvised that isn't at normally a so weapon. So you're Jackie Chan, is what you're telling me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There are worse things to be. <laughs> Those bleeds every day. <laughs> I'm waiting for the moment where you get a hold of a ladder. And then just all hell breaks. Oh, yeah. I also spend one key. No, it's all the the umbrella. scene in Rush Hour. Yes. It's great. He it uses a ladder and then gets stuck it's in like, it. It's like a 15 everyone. minute fight scene in which he kicks the shit out of like 12 people with a ladder. It's awesome. Yes. I and spend the key to, to add down, the escalation die to my AC. Then, yeah. Until an AC attack misses me or until the end of the battle. I prefer the umbrella from Shanghai Knights. Yeah. Where he does the singing in the rain bit <laughs> while fighting. Uh, Shanghai Noon was the one that had the horseshoe on a string, right? Yep. Yeah. That was awesome too. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Too. I really do rewatch really the show. I'm more involved with that. Like anything, Jack. Jack's involved with. Who am I? Is no, he said that they do historical well, dramas. <laughs> okay, do not watch yeah, those. We're, we're, it, it's because he tried to no, be okay, like, not all Jackie Chan. What was that terrible Chinese movie actor? about the uh, kid who has been He's much better as a Chinese parody. He's down. <laughs> well, he'll need to crack crutches. him with the crutch. Do you hit him over the head with a crutch and then stick one under his arm and just prop him on it? <laughs> <laughs> He's left there like. <laughs> and he slowly tips over. <laughs> just very slowly. <laughs> and then look down. Walk it off. <laughs> <laughs> Eduardo. Mm, okay. okay, so I'm currently on top of a burning building that's full of liquor. Mm -hmm. This is true. So <laughs> There are a bunch of uh, slavers who have run in there. Some slaves are chasing them with machetes. Can we get them to... One of them has a torch. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you You're not sure where he got that. You suspect Kopesh involvement. <laughs> it's not a torch, it's actually a machete that's been covered in like alcohol and is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Flaming <Like>. machete. <laughs> <clears throat> it's pronounced machete. <laughs> no, the guy is pronounced machete. All right, so there's uh, there's uh, three ground combatants. No, wait, one of the bats are on the ground. Yeah, one of the bats is on the ground over and here. And one of these guys is actually up with Sangoba. If you shoot that bat on the ground, it'll you won't have the bonus, so that's not a bad plan. Correct. Shoot Or I could shoot the goblins as well. Did the bats still get the resistance if I'm screaming at them? Uh. I would say no. Mm -hmm. Technically, it's any race attack, but they're vulnerable to so I'll say this. Even if you scream so, like this? Even if you uh, race attacks from the tower? <laughs> You're some kind of combination of Sonic the Hedgehog and Black Canary? Alright, I'm gonna shoot at the bat. The bat on the ground is gonna get shot. No, I miss. Two, 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 two miss damage. Uh, oh, yes, and uh, uh, I wanna get off the building. Okay. Uh, Dex check, if you want to get off the building without hurting yourself. <laughs> I want to break a leg. <laughs> For your sailor? Sure. Jumping down out of the ring. Yeah. Yet another way in which Hunter is not applicable to sailor. <laughs> nice. 18 on the desk. Oh, yeah. I seem like yeah, hunting one Where do you want to hop down to? <laughs> you could get into this guy's face who was chasing Betty around. You could get into that bat's face. I could hijack the bat. 
try. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna get in. Sure. <laughs> Just like try and like shoot the guy off of the bat's back and then jump onto it. Yay! Why bother shooting him? Just push him off. Club and ill. All right. You and your friend are uh, gonna attempt yeah. tower sabotage. Mm-hmm. But uh, first, there's a master rigger who I don't know well. Her past is shrouded in mystery. I've tried to ask her quite a few times, but I still have no clue about her history. <laughs> <laughs> I actually kind of like that it drops out of song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it actually works very well. Yeah. Uh, she's a cutthroat of fame and... Uh, and oh, okay. Something about Dave. Thieving is her game. Ah. <laughs> And what's her game? Thieving is her game. And thieving is her game. And how do you pronounce that? Mabriam is her name. Yes, Mabriam is her name. Sure. How to pronounce that is totally fine. I would only give you plus two, but I'll give you plus three because you were uh, soliciting out suggestions. Yes. <laughs> teamwork. Yeah. Calling out a teamwork bonus. Well, nice. it wasn't necessary. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out he didn't need you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot Elton Brace. So, yeah. Oh, I actually got it. Yeah. All right. Remember next time. So, um... <laughs> I don't know why you rolled. It's just setting up yourself up for disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> What's the guy's name? I'm assuming I asked it at one point. Which guy? The guy who's going to tear down the... Chopper. Oh. <laughs> Not Chopper. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Chopper's in the field. Chopper's oh. number four of us. Oh. That's the guy with the name. Uh, you can come Biggie. up with the name for him if you want. Smalley. Clarissa. It was a woman the whole time. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good question. Okay. <laughs> She's the man. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Clarissa, are you going to be alright taking down the tower from there? I'm going to th I think I can go uh, take out that other one by uh, the armory. Is that the place? Uh, that thing? The yeah. mill? Yeah. Yeah, the mill. Uh, currently, it's not shooting yeah, anyone because it's, like, outside, it's outside like, of everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's not currently a threat. There, there's still What's towers here. Everybody else? There like is Chopper the Goblin over there with his, like, big old cleaver machete and mm -hmm. just, like, shouting at everyone. Oh, hurry up! And two bats. Yeah. And two towers. No, what I'm asking you, is, uh, Clarissa going to be all right taking down that tower on her own? Probably. Yeah, okay. So, uh, all right, I'm just going to deal with this bat that's just outside. This bat is up here. Yeah. Okay. It's up well, here. But you can still go scream at it. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Alrighty. That is a uh, 18 versus mental defense. Yep. Alright. Bats actually have the highest mental defense maybe here, but it's only 16. Mm, good. So that would be a uh, 7 thunder damage. Okay. The bat screeches very loudly as it does not appear to like loud noises anywhere near it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It starts flying Shocker. around in funny little weird circles. And that was a natural even hit. Does anyone want to roll a save? Does anyone need to save anything? I don't think anyone's currently vulnerable anymore. Okay, so instead I'm, I'm going to use my natural plus 11. One nearby ally can heal using a recovery die. That's a much more useful one. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I get to add one d4 per point in the escalation die. Does anyone want to give me another d4? Sure. There you go. Alright. So who needs the heal? Uh, you, I'm at five. What's everybody else? I'm at else? 19 oh. out of 44. I'm at 10. I'm at 7. When the conversation uh, starts with, but, I'm at 5. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, but the, the other thing is, though, True, I'm, you're, you're I'm not, only fighting one person. Yeah. I'm, like, not a major combatant. So Who's fighting the most people this, and. Yeah. Like, Does the I'd tower count as range? Is. The tower attacks? Yeah. Yeah. Because even if I go out, like, I'm Currently not... she's on a bat, so she just acquired resist 16 damage against okay, ranged sure. attacks. <laughs> yeah, so, which is why I wanted it. I'm like, you Unfortunately, know you have also acquired a trait called skittish. <laughs> okay. if, the, if you are engaged with a conscious no. enemy after attacking, and you still have a move action, you automatically must spend it to try and disengage. Like so, if they don't like being in melee. Put it on me, because I tend to be... I'm in sight of a lot of... Uh, or at least the towers. You're in sight of a lot of pain. Yeah, yeah. and I'm, yeah. I'm fighting yeah. people. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so uh, take a recovery, plus eight. Cool. Very nice. Wait, so skittish, would my tumbling strike counteract that? Uh, nice. No, because it would just make it even easier yeah. for them to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to conserve that one because uh, oh, I, I can only use it twice per battle. But I have a I'm feeling. back up to 34. Yeah, we need so it. So I am yeah. nowhere yeah. near in death. Uh, yep. The bat riders. Right. I'll fight another this bat. One is still in there. <laughs> so this one is still last one. Uh, over here. That one's going to try and shoot the guy who <laughs> you just stole a bat. Oh. <laughs> uh, that is going to miss. Shoot, you say. <laughs> Plus 16 for seriously. Uh, yeah, it does. Oh, it does. <laughs> My AC is 15, yeah. Well, 
That said, you still only take four damage because you have resist damage against Frank's attacks. Yay. Still good. I know who I'm spending my rally on next turn. The other one? I don't think I hit anyone. So would you try and fight you? Squishy. 14 AC? No. Nope. Alright. Then it will try to disengage because it's skittish. Uh, there's two of it in its face though, so it does not successfully disengage. It's flapping around. <laughs> You're like holding its foot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Slavers! Chopper is going to go for you because you're scavenging his bat. It's 19 on the eye. You take 13 points of damage. As a. Uh, yeah. So he shoves you along, uh, a noose drops around one of your arms, and the sugar cane snaps up and just like starts wrenching your shoulder out of the socket. Fortunately, it didn't go around your neck. <laughs> it actually does pop out of the socket. You're just like. <laughs> you just do like the whole brace and slam no, him back. No, next turn I will shoulder check him to get <laughs> yes. my arm back in. Nice. Oh, God. Nice. Uh, other news. You yeah, ran off yeah, that yeah. way. Also, yeah, I'm yeah. a 6 that guy's HP. The bat. He's actually not yeah, going to bother with him. He's going to go attack Eduardo. Oh. And miss horribly. And lastly, the last neighbor is going to collapse that section of tower. Saving <laughs> crow. Fails. <laughs> Gets the checked. tower collapses on her. Yes. <laughs> uh -oh. Clarissa, no! <laughs> yeah, well, you kind of knew she wasn't going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> she might not die. We have lots of Oh, goblins. sorry, I was uh, texting <laughs> what was going on. <laughs> Clarissa, Clarissa collapsed the tower, kidding. but collapsed it on herself. Yeah. Oh, She's God. not dead, but she is staggered. Okay. It, it just does damage. It doesn't kill her. Okay. The towers! There are still two of them that work. They're going to shoot at everybody in the field, which is everyone except Betty, who <laughs> attack against themselves. Do I need to? So yep. Like, Beatrice is just bonus? like crouched down. Her bonus is plus six against everyone except Vivian, who is plus eight, because they're not taking We're the in team. the sugar field, so it's plus four, right? Huh? We're in the sugar field, no, no, so it's six plus six eight. instead of plus eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, eight is yeah. yeah. bonus. Wait, so for me, what is it? Plus eight. Plus eight. But, I'm, it, but you resist damage. They have to get oh, 16 or better on the die. If okay. they don't get 16 or better, it does half damage. Yeah, they hit me. Spend a key for Tunnels. Uh -oh. But they didn't get. Uh, I mean, half damage. Half damage. You're getting half damage. I got 16. So. Uh, Which hopefully okay, that's going to hit you. No. Uh, five. Really? Did you get it? No, I do not. All right. I'm saying no for her. Other damage. So, that means that you take half damage. Eduardo, you said so. you were. Mr. Hit. 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 Okay. 16. You yeah, but they still hit you. You just get half damage. Eight points of damage. So and Vivian and Sangabass both only take four because you take. Uh, Thank God. That's going to knock her out. All right, I'll, back. don't worry. I'll get her up again. Thank you. you I can't help her. I want a bat. What? Oh. Wow. Yes. I want you a bat. may want to spend that no. point. Wow. <laughs> I want a bat. This um, is a save to not fall off the bat. <laughs> Fourteen and All right. stuff. All right, you are slumped against the bat. You have not fallen off yet. Your arm is like caught in the saddle strap. Fun. <laughs> Bat is just merrily flying around. Okay. Is it my turn? Sterling, yes. You you are. are there people in my face? Yep. There's Chopper and a bat in your face. And another guy. Don't attack the bat. I'm going to be trying to hijack it. I'm okay. I'm going to try and disengage. Okay. You need a 13 or 17. Yep. I right, disengage. Nice. I now weigh the odds. Oh, okay, God. I'll try to attack the goblins on top. No, I'm weighing the odds. I want command points. Are you going deeper into the field or around like the corner of the building? I'm gonna go around the corner of the building. Here's the choice. burning fire. <laughs> uh, beside the burning fire. building that might explode? And out of sight of watchtowers. True. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. True. I'm gonna take that risk. Alright, okay. I have three command points. That will be my turn. Teddy! <laughs> Beatrice is uh, crouched down like on like the porch that like out of sight as she's this just trying to, to uh Drink some rum. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to, uh, she's, her thing is she used to keep, like, level headed and control at all times, right? So, and so she's just, like, sitting there trying to, like, bandage herself up a little bit. Like, she's got, like, a she's cloth an wrapped around. <laughs> she's got, like, a cloth wrapped around her. She's, like, tidying up, like, using her teeth to, like, pull it tight. And she's like, what? It's like, what am I doing with this crew? She's like, six years of school. I went to school for six years to be caught in this kind of situation. All the time. All the time. <laughs> for six years to get attacked by some brick with a machete. <laughs> <laughs> and then ass in the throat of my face. <laughs> like, this is... Thankfully, she wears glasses. So, oh, thank you. See <laughs> that? You're here. <laughs> doing this. Duty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so standard action to regain yep. her her concentration, and yeah, that's that's it. Escalate <laughs> three. Hey, Brian. You need to make. Wake up, you fool! You're riding a bat. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Don't fall asleep at the bat. <laughs> it's a pun of two shitty levels. Uh, nine. Oh. Yeah. No. So she doesn't get to say. <clears throat> Although, oh, that's right. Never mind. Sorry. I can't Unless you were spending your command point to heal her. No, it's telling her to rally, but I can target unconscious people. She is unconscious. Talk to me. Yeah. No, I did. That's what I'm doing. Oh. That's, oh. that's what I'm doing. Oh, that's what that was. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Uh, okay. You also need to make a death save. Oh, okay. Unfortunate. You got this. Hey, she got yeah, it. you spend recovery. And you regain consciousness on the back of a bat. <laughs> yeah, That's new, yeah. right? The bat is currently doing this. <laughs> no, it's not like a plane. You being asleep, it just keeps flying. It's a bat. Yeah. It has its own nice. brain. Okay, and plus what? Single bat. Cool. You have a giant bat in your face, as well as a goblin with a machete. Yeah, goggles. I'm probably just going to recover. Because <laughs> I'm at 2 HP. Fair. <laughs> so I just yep. grab my arm. Give them a stern look and just go, boom! <laughs> just crack it back into place. What was I doing this morning? Oh, I want a bat. <laughs> I gain seven. I'm at nine. Eduardo. <clears throat> okay, I got a rapier. Alright, so the goblin is on the, uh, on the bat. Mm -hmm. How many? Just two goblins or one? Uh, two. Two. Mm. One's flying, one's shooting. Both of them flying. are currently angry. <laughs> Take out the flying one. You can deal with the shooting one later. All right, uh, the one that's piloting. Okay. I'm going to try to, uh, you know, grab it by the scuff of the neck. Okay. Just pull him off. Sure. He wants a bat. Bat. <laughs> 17 on the die. All right, you got him. Okay. Just a heads up, guys. It is five after nine. Yep. Does anyone need to go anywhere? Well, I think yeah. we're. I, think I got. I got something to we got to do tonight. So I'll probably be leaving in at worst ten minutes. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, so, now I'm going to get on the bat. Yep. Now, I already used my standard action, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Roll your right. d6. So you're just stuck oh, there, then? Right. Right. Uh, there you go. Oh, you there you go. Okay. To... Now... You can try and kick the other one off. Oh, yeah. I forgot to do that. Dang it. Give me a strength check. 17 and a die. Yeah! <laughs> you kick those guys off. <laughs> I'm giving you this for the... Stealing a bat. <laughs> nice. Well done, sir. Well done. And now all the bats are... Oh no, we got one enemy bat still. So. <laughs> you have a friendly have bat. three out of four bats. And since you are now in a bat, or you must attempt of... to disengage with it. It's a skittish bat. Is there any, uh... Yeah. 14 on the die. Yep. Two friend bats. <laughs> I'm going to name Robin this Hill. bat Clarence. There are all many right. bats like but it. But not this taking him with us. Uh, Aww. Says you. This one's good Lee. friend is, a. Uh, all right, I guess. We should leave some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's got us into trouble. He's like Barney Rubble. There. And everything is like that, I guess. Huh. He's, this man is not the brightest bulb. I think that he really sucks. Aww. He really... Ah, uh, oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm only giving you one for that. That's not, that's not inspiring. That's not inspiring. Where's the passion? No. <laughs> Well, you try to no, use. You try to inspiring. Right, right. right. he's, he's already had to do three different verses already. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> some slack can be given. Yeah, whatever. It's still going on. Just because yep. you fake it in the bedroom doesn't mean you can fake it in your songs. <laughs> it said Wardo. How do you write a oh. song? <laughs> fake it till you make it, man. I'm awesome. <laughs> do you want me Carry to read on. my memory All right. Now, these two guys, uh, which one is the most damaged? Uh. Number three has taken damage. Okay. Chopper has not been hit. Uh. Okay. Uh, hey, Chopper. Everything you know is wrong. Why do something and flat and short <laughs> is long? <laughs> okay, so that is a uh, 20 versus mental defense. Yep. He is confused until the end of his next turn. <laughs> <laughs> we all are. Until the end of my next turn. Next turn. Bat Riders. And shoot at Corey. Ooh. 19 AC. Uh, 16 a blower. Uh, no, but does 19 AC hit you? Uh, yes it does. Alrighty. Yeah. You take 4 damage. Okay. Because of your resistance. As you are hit by an arrow. <laughs> Slavers! <laughs> Going for his buddy. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot. 19 AC? That will hit him exactly. Oh yeah, and I actually get an extra attack. 
Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna scream at the one not friendly bat. <laughs> sure. Uh, that's a 16 on the die. And does anyone need to save against anything? Uh, Chopper hacks at the knee of that other guy and staggers him. <laughs> what are you doing, boss? Why? No. What are you doing, new boss? boss? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we totally picked the wrong guy to run this place. <laughs> doubt. I do the, doubt. I do six damage to the uh, six summoner damage to the bat. And uh, does anyone need uh, to save against anything? No, but I'd have to deal. Okay, pull it together. How's, that, bat is staggered. Uh, how's that bat doing? <laughs> the pull bat is staggered. It's unwieldy flyer ability triggers. Must roll an immediate save when it's staggered. On a failure, he falls off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> one, 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 one. He just takes 50 damage on him. <laughs> I won't bother to use my better yet here then, unless he is, uh... He's conscious. He's Barely. Con Not for long. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, so he's fallen off the bat? Yeah, he falls off the bat. Okay. Ah. Well, uh, unfortunately he's, a uh, little... He, uh, actually impales himself upon a... Does trap. He, does he fall on the rake with a spike on it? <laughs> set up in the field. <laughs> it yes. is the rake. He falls on one of his own traps. Maybe. Still have a bear trap on my leg or something. Yes. He falls on one of his own traps. Uh, he takes 2d6. It was a spike pit. 2d6 plus 3, yeah, he's... Yeah, a spike pit, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> he falls on just like the ground and goes, Oh man, that hurt. Yeah, then yeah. it's like, crack, crack. Ah! <laughs> 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 That's my will, so I keep it. Okay, and uh, yeah, so pull it together, you get four extra health points plus your recovery. Yes. 13 HP. Awesome. Now, unfortunately, I cannot use that power anymore this battle. Uh, towers. Uh, everybody except Scarlet and Betty can roll against themselves. Keep rolling good. <laughs> like I don't know why I did that. I'm actually healthy. Oh, I got an 18 got on the die. I so hit you. Yeah. You take uh, 18. Willow. Eight damage. Fuck. Uh, Seventeen on the die. I, I take I half. Seventeen I'm on the die. Eight damage. Oh. Half. So four. Seventeen on the die. Take four. I keep forgetting to roll my extra die on that. Are you sorry? Down? Take eight. <laughs> Me? Because you got better than sixteen. Yeah. So it ignores the resistance. Take your full down. Oh, okay. Are you down? Yeah. I. I'm back to four. I'm not out though. So four. Yeah. That's half, right? We've only got one minute left. We can Fairly, probably get this done before yeah, Gasly. Yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm staring. I run back around the corner and attack the nearest guy. Sure. Probably not the one who's hitting the other. Or, no. <laughs> Fair. Drag a guy out of the to tower real. with the bat. Hmm? 14 resistance. Drag people not gonna out of the tower and drop them. That'll be uh, that two, two damage. damage. <laughs> Yeah, but you can still drag them up because they're firing at Alright, uh, we can roll that decent but first. The Once again, again. And as the thing's only at three, so I fail. Stupid D6. Um, uh, well, standard action. There you go. Uh, that's, that's me. That's me done. Four. Maybe they have. Make a recovery. Not a bad. Me? Yep. Okay. 20. Yes. Yay. Then you get make a recovery. Plus three. And then attack something. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Nice. Damn. There you go. 19. Okay. And then uh, I'm rolling really well, which is bad when it comes to the tower. <laughs> At least you're good for now. Yeah. Uh, oh, you at 10. I want to... Try attacking the towers. No, I want to, like, pick... I want a bat. Can I get the bat to, like, drag a guy out and drop him? You can try, yeah. You can have this bat try and make his melee attack. Do you, do you well, let no, uh, out of the tower. Out of the tower? Sure. Yeah. I want to, like, drag a guy out and sure. just let him fall. Crits. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 12 damage and ongoing 12. <laughs> he's good. That guy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That uh, flies into the tower and immediately starts eating one of the guys. <laughs> You're like, uh, it's not what I wanted it to do, but okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You deserve it. Psycho bass. <laughs> Yeah, two attacks. Yeah. Nice. I look at the goblin. I look at the bat. <laughs> Let okay. me know if you miss either of those. This bat's in the air. Oh. Okay. Ah. So okay. look at the goblin. And I just look at the goblin. Actually, sorry, this bat's not there anymore. Yeah, There's see, a bat flying around, but it doesn't have a rider anymore. <laughs> so just the goblin. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. There's a goblin and a god. Although, <laughs> 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 There's a luck reroll. <laughs> nice. 20 is 20. 11. He's got three crits double. in a row. Oh, is even the bonus double? Yeah. Oh! All damage is double. 22. 22 damage. 
Are you attacking Chopper or the other guy? Chopper. Okay. Ow. <laughs> then I Staggered. wheel around and hit him with a second blow. Okay. Which is 14 AC? No. Nope. However. Oh. Uh, 18 AC. Still no. However. Short by one. Did you add Song of Heroes? Oh. Key point to boost it up. Did you add one. his bonus? No, I didn't. Plus one to Song of Heroes? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we got a lot of points. Don't go burning key, you don't have to. 16 damage. <laughs> Dig hard. Still up, but he's hurt. Eduardo. Okay. So. Bat. Bat. Yeah. Look down. There's uh, the guy, this is the, you know, the really hurt guy that he was just hitting. Okay. Right. You gotta go, man. You gotta go. They're both go. really hurt, yeah. Alright, see ya. Thanks see ya. for coming. See you next week. Shoot him. Okay. Strike from above. Sure. I'll give you plus two to hit because you're on a bat. Hide advantage. <laughs> but moving? Win? Let's see. He did a cool thing in the beginning. Yeah, that's true. Uh, six, seven, seventeen. Uh, no. Plus one for Song of Heroes is eighteen. Eighteen. That's what I need? One short. One short. Well, <laughs> in his attempt to get away from you, he, um, oh, is it the guy in the tower you went for or the guy on the ground? On the ground. ground? Um, on his attempt to get away from you, he actually stumbles back into one of their own traps. Nice. Again. <laughs> um, is that a trigger that happens when you and miss? And we're getting two from you? One. One from you. Um, okay, then it's 14 versus mental defense. Uh, yep. Excellent. Stupid. Uh, so he's going to get 4d8 plus 3. I don't have any d8s yet. I'm sorry. Does anyone have I, I have, I'm right here. Thank you. I was not prepared to actually use this one, clearly. <laughs> oh, delightful. Uh, 24 uh, wisdom damage. Uh, damage. Uh, 20, uh, yeah, 21 damage plus 5 ongoing. And because I rolled a 4 on the die. 21 or 24? Ah, shit. Is there a dice or is there a mod? Uh, plus 3. Yeah, 24. 24. 24. Um, yes. And because I rolled a 4, I think I actually keep... That guy is dead. Nice. Okay. Yes, and I get to keep my... Touch ball, concentration. He Yay. staggers backwards, and uh, a big spring-loaded blade <laughs> around goes... Whoosh! <laughs> just carves into his, <laughs> right to his back. It's actually like an axe on a spring. It just goes... Oh, God! the back of his head. It's like Willy in every uh, Treehouse of Horror episode. Yeah. yeah. Axe in the back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, but at this. What's that thing? Since something happens and someone misses? Yeah, when you miss, the enemy you missed, I can make an attack. It was called Inevitable Fall. So yeah, they escaped your attack, but they still went down. Yep. I love these attacks. <laughs> nice. Eduardo is done. Did you get a bonus attack, Timmy? Did you? Roll? Oh. Eight. Hey. Nice. No, wait. I'm supposed to roll below it, right? Below or equal to he rolled me. No. So, no. <laughs> Bob and Hill. Alrighty. There's one guy left and one tower, technically. Yeah. Bring, it. Bring down the house. There's just Chopper left. Mm -hmm. The goblin boss. He'll never take me. You can take everyone else, but not me. Can we question him? I don't He's know good why. at taking people. He's got this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to my final verse. Oh, uh, who wants the plus two bonus on their next attack roll? Can you give it to yourself? Uh, I think songs are super well. It says one I'll ally. take out the tower. I'll take out the tower. So, I guess, yeah, that guy. Alrighty. And, uh, after that... The guy who has the longest time to go before his turn comes up again. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I, oh, that's also true. Yeah, I'll go with, uh, you, actually. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> On the basis that Betty doesn't really make attacks. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. And also, when I do, it's against mental defense. Mm -hmm. I really don't need it. Yeah. That's pretty well, good. Speaking of attacking yeah. versus mental defense, I'm going to scream at that guy. Nice. <laughs> Chris. Chris. <laughs> I probably sh should have chosen another attack. It's okay. <laughs> but I still roll max damage, so that is uh, 16 thunder damage. Nice. Melt this face. <laughs> you drop him. <laughs> He's screaming yeah. at him. Like, you actually just insult him, <laughs> you son of a bitch. He runs towards you, trips over a tripwire, and falls in the same spike pit that that bat fell in. <laughs> or that guy who fell off the bat. Yeah, yeah that guy. <laughs> Turns out it was all the same trap. <laughs> it's actually an extensive cave network. <laughs> the entire island. <laughs> all right, the only thing left is a watchtower, and I would say you guys can easily thwart that. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we're just like, yeah, all the thing left. At the very least, I got my karmic review. So you have. Got the uh, slaves around. 
guys went unconscious quite a lot back then. Yeah, that was a <laughs> hell of a battle. I'm gonna say there's about 25 slaves left. <laughs> Who survived that fight? Oh god, we lost half of them? Yeah. We lose uh, Greg. Considering how much is yours? Yes, it is actually. Thank you. I dropped under the table, but I didn't want to go crawling under the table during the middle. Yeah, it was like right by my shoe the whole time. Yeah. About that, little, that many? Yeah, a little awkward. Uh, no, you have 37. I was gonna say it's 25 plus whatever I rolled. Okay. So 37 survived. Okay. Which actually means that three. It's actually very few casualties. Only yeah. three of them died. <laughs> so we oh, took the brunt of it. Surprise attack. Yeah. <laughs> we took the brunt of it. The they spent most of their time attacking you guys. Clearly. The semi competent crew. I say that Beatrice immediately, as soon as like everything's calmed down, she immediately starts like basically taking a head count, getting everyone's name, where they're from, does they need to get anywhere, like is there anyone we need to contact, blah blah, blah. like just immediately starts going into record keeping mode. I should mention, are there any other ships in port? Uh, there is one. Ah. Is it one that belongs to the slaver? Yes. Uh, it has a name. Always on their own. Uh, it has a name. It is the Ogre's Knob. <laughs> oh, God. I approve. <laughs> wow. It looks like a fishing boat. Looks like. <laughs> well, it's a kind of fishing of boat. Cells in the hole. <laughs> How big is it compared to ours? Smaller. Okay. So we can well, deal with that next. Throw people can loot it for stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's no crew on there we have to worry about. By the way, I, 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 I want to keep Clarence. You want to so. keep the. He wants to keep the giant plushie the person, the person you pretty much need to convince here is the person who's keeping track of food supplies. Due to the intensity of that battle, was that a level up? Um, yeah, I'd say so. Alrighty. Come on! Oh, no. <laughs> we don't have food on the ship or a bat. Or two. Like, I'd say I want to keep the bat, but then... You keep the count of them? It would require that we uh It would be an have asset. Some... It would be an asset with an upkeep cost. Yeah. Yeah. Which it's a okay. thief. Like I like the idea. Not entirely sure we can afford it. Toward, toward what? Keep Keeping well, the bat. <laughs> we'll discuss it all after in our next session. We... So this day begins with our halfling cook, Mr. Neelix, conversing with his high elf shipmate, Catherine Janeway, on the deck. As Robinil has no context to this conversation, he automatically assumes it's about the shipwide orgy that took place on the beach last night. Oh, Catherine, do you have a minute? Just a minute. I'm on my way to give the quartermaster our report. I thought last night went well, didn't you? Extremely well. Everyone had a lot of fun. I was thinking of making a regular feature, say, once a month? It's certainly worth a try. And Catherine, you were especially good last night. Thanks, Mr. Neelix. It's been a while. <laughs> You'd never know. Now, Catherine, I, do you think, I mean, I, I was wondering if, what is it, Neelix? Could you possibly keep Mr. Tuvok busy on the lookout that evening? I'm sure something could be arranged. Our secret, Mr. Neelix? We never had this discussion. <laughs>